Hello and welcome to the channel and welcome to this Tempest to War game of Taken Hold between the Guard and the Death Guard and it's the new Guard! The new Astro Militarum. I've been waiting ages to do this. Yay! Woo! After four years we finally get a new book. That's actually 21 guns to loot because, you know, it's been like 21 years since you had a codex. Well, yeah, yeah. It will take 17 years or so. It's been a very long time. <laughs> <laughs> so, so trying out the new Guard. Um, I would have liked to do it last week but, um, you know, Royal Mail Strikes. Um, <laughs> basically <laughs> so it's a week later than I wanted it to uh, but here we go and there'll be more coming soon uh, so watch to see more I guess um, if you want to see more hit subscribe and you will like this video so go ahead and smash that like button uh, so yeah so it's Astrum in Time versus the Death Guard uh, and we're doing Take and Hold Tempest of War so hold one hold two hold more for your primary points hold me to make feel better about myself yeah, what he, what he said. <laughs> um, we're doing search and destroy deployment, which is like that. So we've got opposite table quarters, nice and simple, and with a, like a no man's land in the middle. And we've got to delayed reserves. So if we want to put anything in reserves or deep strike or anything like that, we have to roll to see if they actually bother turning up, which could be interesting. Because I know that my opponent today likes deep striking things. So, um, so he sense. might change his decision <laughs> now. <laughs> um so, so that's the mission. Uh, there are five objectives on the board, and we've been really boring between me and my opponent today. We put an objective in every ruin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so there's one here in this deployment zone, one in that deployment zone, there's one in the middle, uh, and there's one in these ruins as well. Uh, that one, there we go, it's there. Uh, all the ruins are obscuring, so you can shoot out of them or into them, but you cannot shoot through them because that's what obscuring means. Uh, they also give you light cover. <laughs> <laughs> That is exactly what uh, light cover and the defensible scalable breachable all the balls. So na, that's na, that. Na, na, oh no! Na, 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 and it's the lost world. Na, 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 na. You, you can go away now. Poor sort of. Yeah. I, I, can, I can make him vanquish with my vanquisher cannon. <laughs> yeah, right. uh, yes. So, so they're the ruins. Uh, they're all marked up by the footprints. So we've got one here, one there, two separate ones in the middle, uh, and then one here and one over there. Uh, and then I've also got some woods, because woods, because guard and trees, it makes sense, doesn't it? Um, especially when you see my guard in a minute. Uh, so they will be difficult ground, which you may not care about with your infantry, because you're death guard. Uh, and the, but they're also dense cover, so they minus one to shoot into or shoot through. But if, you, if you're in them and you shoot out, you're absolutely fine. Um, so that's that. Also, if you like terrain and things, check out gamemat.eu or urbanmats.com and also battle mats as well. There'll be links below for that. There'll also be links below for, for me, essentially, for, for Heritage Day 40k on Instagram and Patreon. And also for my sponsor, Element Games, if you like to buy things at a discount, which is very nice. Um, and yes, if you've been here before, you know who he is. I'm facing Duffgun Andy! Yay! Hi! Hi, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and apparently, when we were at a tournament at the DZGT last, we discovered that you're like the sixth best Death Guard player in the country or something. I am rank six. Which shocked me more than anyone. <laughs> I'm currently rank six in the UK, and if you're not in the UK, have no fear, I'm coming for you because I'm ranked 26 in the entire world. Um, That's enough of that, right. And, 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 the most important thing was, I wasn't even trying. I didn't know the ITC thing was a thing until I go there. He's like, I've been trying to catch you up. I'm like, can have you really? He's like, yeah, I've been trying to catch you up because you're ahead of me. I'm like, well, where am I? Thinking I'm like 15,000 or something. He's like, oh, you rank six. I'm like, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> Got a big of a knees. I was so impressed, but I even went and Googled myself to find out that it was true I was ranked six. And not only was you I want to be six. ranked seven, though. That's really that willing, the, isn't it? That, that, yes. that was the kicker, wasn't it? I wasn't ranked seven to rank six. I was ranked six. But I did well at the tournament, got best in faction, and um, yeah. it was very but good. Thanks for some help from me beating the other Death Guard player. <laughs> my first ever honourable mention, do you remember? Oh yeah, for, for being a good sport and yeah, things. Yeah, I had like three nice, or four yeah. people vote me to be the best sport, and I was like, yeah, oh, I'm Death Guard Andy. I no, can't believe that either, to be honest. But anyway, yeah. so that's, that's Death Guard Andy. <laughs> <laughs> and, and here's your Death Guard. And you can find me at Chaos 40k. Chaos 40k, yeah. There'll be a link below as well for, for me on YouTube. There will be, if I, if I bother. <laughs> <You> can, um, <laughs> <laughs> so this is your Death Guard list. I told you to bring the pain today, because I want, I want yeah. to properly test the guard. So I brought my tournament list. So you bring in your tournament list. Obviously Straight not, into it. We're that's not nice doing match play, but it's, it's still a list that should be okay with the it's, secondaries of Tempest anyway. So hold up against your guard, I'm sure. So what have I got? I've got three as a Terminator. They've all got uh, axes, combi bolters, and one flail. Simple, yeah. three, yeah. three units of vital terminators, nice. Box walkers, 10, t sorry, 2020, 10. Oh, that's a few more than 10, isn't it? 2020, 10. 
to hold oh, objectives and yeah, things. Yes. Then we've got models here. They're called Plague Marines. They're awesome. They've got suit and boot. Three points for all my war gear. So I suit a bit of everything. Two light launchers, two axes, two flails, two plasmas, and two bolt guns. Because bolt guns are cool. And a free power pistol in champ. Yeah. So, so they're yeah. very hard-hitting marines. And they, they ride around in a rhino for weapon. obvious reasons. Because because they're slow. Yes. Uh, who are these champs? Oh, well, I've got characters. That's my Lord of Contagion. Yes. Uh, also known as Gump. Because he keeps running and running and running. And GNA, and um, that's great. And what's um, he got? Uh, but he's got the Reaper of Glorious Entropy, uh, which is basically a big axe. A really big, awesome axe. Like Gimli. I'm gonna, I can't just change it into Gimli now because he has just always got a really big axe. Oh, right, he's getting Gimli. He's Gimli. Yeah, okay. And that one Gimli. Okay, cool. And uh, over here, I've got my, my Gandalf, who's my playcaster. And, um, perils the playcaster. Pe- he always perils his at least once a game. He does. Oh, by the way, sorry, he's got the uh, second uh, thing that's very light, which is part of my irrexable detachment ability. Gives uh, his. Uh, Such as Warlord trait, AP. yes. Yeah. So, so anything within the contagion range of this chap, you get an extra AP against, I which do. is and really he nice. He shoots anyway, anyway, and he also yeah. has an extended range of three, three inches anyway on that range. So, so it starts like off as four, four. yeah, yeah but, uh, and obviously it goes up with your contagion range. Because for those who don't know, as the game goes on, the the the, the aura of oh, contagion right, for right. Death Guard increases. <sighs> And Thanks. you lose toughness if they're in contagion no. range. What have you found? What? No, I was doing this on purpose, and because of you, I forgot. Oh, well, never mind. We'll... No, 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 this is important. Wait, 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 pause. Right, we're back. Uh, uh, Andy wanted to put the Death Guard theme song on. Uh, yes, so contagion range. Um, basically, if you're near a Death Guard, you get minus one toughness, which is really nice. It's very handy. Uh, and, and everyone gets minus one damage, apart from yes. Poxwalkers and your Rhino, which yes. is also really nice. And in Erexable that. means... Minus two to a charge stratagem. There's a strat... Yes, it's too loud. Turn that nonsense off. Uh, and you got a strat of inerexable, which means if if I charge one of your units, it's minus two for any unit of my units that charge it. This is really nice. Yes. Um, so yes. Yeah, so so, so what did you give this guy? He's got a relic. He's got a relic. He's got Peter Puriat. He knows one additional psychic power. So he knows minus one best against Peter's fidelity, and he knows Guess of a leper minus one to hit, plus one strength and toughness, and a big mortal wound output psychic power too. So really, oh, so gorgeous! Like, they are the end, gorgeous. It's the perfect song. They are very filthy and gorgeous. I know. Oh wait, 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 wait. Right, wait, wait, enough wait. of that. No, no, what? Wait, wait, wait. This, what is, now? This is what it's all about. You are nasty! You are nasty. <laughs> You're all nasty, like Death Guard. Anyway, so I've got him, he's doing cool stuff. So, so you've got a playcaster who knows more powers, and he's, he's got. And, and if he casts a power, he can heal the three wounds. He can, well, once, once per, per game. game. Yes. Yeah, which is nice because he perils a lot. I'm telling me some CPs, even though I've got 11, so I don't think I'm going to need him to, but. So, so he's your CP farm, and you can also point at a core unit and they get plus one a hit in they, they do. If I give him a talkie relic, he'd also give me exploding sixes, but I didn't. So, so, yeah, because it's a waste of points. I could have done because it's a Tempest of War. No, stick with your normal list. Mm. You, mm. It means you can more CP for mm. other toys and straps that you don't I've normally three use. Tanks. I've and got three tanks. I've got three three plague burst crawlers because why not? Because they're better than you. Can't say that. We'll, we'll soon find <laughs> out about that. <laughs> yeah, no, um. <laughs> three entropy cannons on them, uh, three mortars on them, and two more volley guns, one heavy slugger. I've got one chaos rhino, rhinoceros rhino thing. So these guys are rhino, and you got you've got, you got a drone with a heavy bite launcher, it's which, so heavy, which is an exactly, assault weapon. But, yeah, and it's you the can, most ridiculous yeah. thing ever. Why on earth would a heavy you blight launcher be an assault, assault weapon? weapon? Do you know why they did that? Just to confuse the hell out of people. Just to make people <laughs> that play an easy army have something extra to think about. Hey, blight launcher, can it fire? Well, um, can you advance and shoot? Yeah. Uh, um, uh, uh, it's, it's uh, heavy. Uh, no, it's assault uh, weapon. I'm all right. Uh, um, <laughs> yes. So that's my army. It's two thousand points. Of those. I've got a uh, combi bomber and a uh, heavy launcher on the rhinoceros. Not that I'm ever going to use it because I never do. But well, I against the guardsmen, it might actually well, do something. Might actually do something on them. Yeah. yeah. So that's my army. Two thousand points of those of pure death guard level scam. Yeah, and you get a wall of trick and relic for free, so you've only spent one CP. It's very nice. It's like one eleven. I am so eleven. Good for you. Um, uh, right, n- so. enough of that disgusting nonsense. It's the guard, son. Um, so <laughs> Lot of, there's lots of things to talk about with the guard, but I'm not going to go for a think because I'm sure you've all seen Codex Reviews videos by now. If you haven't, then go on YouTube and find some. I could do one, but I can't be bothered. Um, <laughs> I'd rather show people what you, you can do rather than just talk to you about it. Um, but I'll talk to you a little bit about it anyway. So regiment traits, you can now pick born soldiers or you can pick two. Today, I have picked Swift as the wind, so everything is quicker. Um, all my infantry get... Right, and he's talking nonsense again. Um, so, so you can pick two regiment traits. I've gone for Swift as the Wind. 
so all my infantry get plus one move if they've got the regimental thing, so Borgwins don't get it, but all my standard infantry do. Um, and all the vehicles get plus two move as well, which is nice. So my tanks are a lot quicker, my sentinels are quicker, really, really nice. Um, I think also gets plus one to their charge if you've got the regimental thing. You know, I don't really want to be charging with guardsmen, but it's, it's, it's nice, I guess. Um, and then my other regimental trait is all my vehicles count as more models on objectives. So sentinels count as three models, all my other tanks count as five models on objectives. And that's not just good, it's really good because I, there's now orders where I can make vehicles objective secured. Ha <laughs> ha! So I can park a Lima battle tank on objective, make objective secured, and it counts as five models. Luckily, your man models are more than five, so I'm going to use the five models <coughs> more. So I don't matter to that. But if you're playing an army like Space Marines, where you get four models for 2,000 points, that'd be great. Yeah, no, <laughs> you, you'll see how good it is during the game. Um, so they're, they're the regimental traits I'm going with. Uh, I think it's uh, armored superiority and swift as the wind, because it's a nice little combo. Um, the things that don't get that are things like the Borgrins and the Scions, because Scions get their own trait now. Which is essentially six to hit from ranged attacks count as additional hits. They get between sixes to hit, which is very, very nice. And there's some really cool combos that work with Scions later, which I'll show. Um, so that's a bit about that. In terms of orders, they all happen in the command phase now, but you can do them with things in transport. So if you have an officer that gets out of a transport, at the moment he gets out of the transport, he can then issue an order, which is really, really nice. Um, and then orders are still a thing, but they've changed. And also commissars get their own orders now which is a different set of orders that you, so you can actually order things like Bulgrins now which is really cool what's cool is Death Trapper it is really cool um, mm -hmm. so, so let's run through the list so HQs I'm going to start off with Mr. Ironhand Strachan he's essentially a Katachanka Stellan so he can give two orders and he has a reroll hit rolls of one aura for core units which is really nice not only that he's more of a beat stick than he used to be and he's got some cool rules um, and he's got to be my warlord because he's tracking, and I've, therefore I've got to give him his warlord trait, which makes him more fighty in combat. But that's him, he's really cool, that's Colonel Strachan. I've got a platoon command squad! His axe is bigger than yours. I don't care about his axe, his axe I'll blow his head off with a vanquisher his axe cannon. Is bigger than Strachan. I can kill him with one shot. <laughs> um, I've got a platoon command squad, um, no real upgrades on these, I've just got a, a master vox, which means he can order, order things within 24 inches. I've got a medic and a heavy bolter team. And the command squad gets to look out, sir, because they've got a character in the unit. So you can't shoot my command squad unless you're the nearest unit, which is really good. So, so you can put, like, you know, a las cannon in the command squad and just go, you can't kill it. Because it gets to look out, sir. That'd be hilarious, wouldn't it? Um, so that's them. Uh, other characters and things. I've got a tech priest. They're quite good now. So not only can they heal vehicles in the command phase, I can give a tank or well, a vehicle, a 5 plus invulnerable save. It, it'll be a tank. Uh, <laughs> I've got a commissar. Um, I've actually given him a couple of things. So not only does he know the Commissar orders, the Perfectus orders, I've given him a Warlord trait. I think it's a Warlord trait, where he can also know an additional set of orders. I've, 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 he knows tank orders as well, which is interesting. And I've given him a Relic, so he can order two orders instead of one order. Sounds like a garage. So he can order my tanks or my Borgrins. He, he can basically order whoever the hell he wants, basically. Which is hilarious. And he's got a pacifist on a power sword because, because that, that's what he's modelled with. Um, I've got six Borgrin. They've all got slam shields and mauls. Uh, and they're the same as before, except for now they're minus one damage. That, they're Borgrins. Uh, they get an extra attack base now instead of getting an extra one when they charge. But essentially they're the same, except for they get minus one damage. Um, I have three individual scout sentinels because they're really, really good. They've got more toughness, more wounds now. And now they can forward deploy, so that's really cool. Uh, and the chainsaws actually do something now. <laughs> um, so they've all got heavy flame on a chainsaw. They're scout sentinels. I have four infantry squads. Uh, they've all got vox casters. They've all got sergeants with chainsaws. Uh, these ones have also got plasma gun and missile launchers. These two here have got melter guns because all that war gear is free still. So that's really nice. I have three chimeras all with multi lasers and heavy bolters. Multi lasers are a bit better now. They get an extra shot and actually get a bit of AP on a multi laser. They got a bit of AP, but, but you got armor contempt. You don't really care. I don't really care. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, I get pox walkers in cover when we get a save against them now. Yeah, that's something. Yeah. Um, so that's them. Like you knew you were going to be taking on pox walkers today. I always take chimeras. Yeah, yeah. A walking guardsman is a dead guardsman. Essentially, and a dead guardsman is a pox walker. If you're not bringing chimeras, bring a hundred infantry. That's what mm. I'm going to say. Um, I've got a unit of 10 science. I normally run two units of 5, but there's really cool combos and things, so I'm going to run 10 science because there's some really interesting things you can do with them. I'll show, hopefully get a chance to show them later on. Like, put them in a Chimera with kind of, kind of Iron Hands track and get them out, tell them to take aim, and then do overcharged land cells. And 
There's like a mech infantry strat as well where you can make the re -roll, wing rolls when they get out of a transport. So that's going to be hilarious. Uh, but I'll try that later. Uh, I've got a heavy weapons team with three LAS cannons because why not? Uh, this is my tank commander here, the one with the extra luggage and stuff on him. He has got the Gatekeeper Battle Cannon. So that's 6 plus D3 shots at strength 9, minus 3, flat 3 damage. So the Gatekeeper Battle Cannon? Yes. That he's... sounds like a very powerful cannon. Can you tell me how powerful it is, Dave? I've just, I've just said, if you're listening. Uh... I was doing for snap for Snapchat. <laughs> I was doing Snapchat. God's sake. Uh, and he's, also, he's, also, he's also got a LAS Cannon, two heavy bolters, and you can, you can obviously issue one tank order. Um, in addition to giving him the Relic Gatekeeper, I've given him a Warlord trait, which means he can also order himself, because tank orders normally can't order themselves anymore. Sounds so he like can order himself if he wants to. Vision, GCSE, exactly. He's been revising tank orders along with the Commissar here. Um, and the good thing about orders now is that, that they, they bounce, essentially. So he can order himself, and then any other tank within six inches also has been ordered at the same time. Does it bounce from them to someone else? No, but, 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 I, but whatever I order... Not within like, 12 inches, whatever's within 6 of that then also gets the order. kind of like 2 inches with the like... The synaptic link yeah, on, so it's kind of... Not as good, well, because the uh, uh, radios haven't got as long range as the 2 inches now. Well, yeah. Um, <laughs> so that's Tank Commander, I've got 3 Battle Tanks. Uh, I've got one with a Battle Cannon, Heavy Bolt, Heavy Flamers. One with a Demolish Cannon, Laz Cannon and 2 Multi Melters. And I have one with a Vanquisher Cannon, a Laz Cannon and 2 Heavy Bolts. Vanquisher Cannons are really fun, they're not competitively good I don't think, it's just one shot. I'd rather have more shots with an Execution of Plasma Cannon. But I haven't got any plasma cannon ones. Uh, but I thought it'd be fun to try out a vanquish cannon. Uh, demolish cannons now. They're really, really swingy. They're not as good as they used to be, but that's what I've got. So let's see what happens. Um, but they are D3 plus 3 damage now rather than D6. So at least that's something. Um, so, yes, that is my least. If you've paid attention without Andy and his nonsense in between. No, what I do, people. What? Is Question. I, I have to come here by every now and then. And we play a lot of serious games. But when it comes to the fun, I like to really really pissed Dave off and nothing will blame Dave up more than someone sat at the side of the you can ask Ultramarine Paul because this scene you can ask I am all yours Neil there's nothing more to blame Dave up when you're so when he's on film and you sit there going to his models or, 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 or making comments or trying to put something on the background or playing with dice that's, that's a pet hope anyway two things right first of all yeah questions go not questions well <clears throat> statements from you from me to you for all the people out there that play guard normally people take things like you know the, the basilisk or the manticore explain to them why you're not taking those units oh yes because you have them so why are you not plugging them with a brand new game with a brand new codex what is it about that yes exactly well the reason being uh, uh, two quarters of the words <laughs> according to the Warhammer community they put out a video recently which sort of hints that all the guard stuff that's in the data slate is going so rather than messing about with indirect fire and then being either proved right, proved wrong, whatever, I'm just not having it. Um, but in, basically in about a month's time, I'm pretty sure Guard will suffer the indirect fire nerf along with everyone else. So I'm just not going to bother. I'm also not using Armour of Contempt today because, let's face it, I probably don't need it anymore. Um, and I just want to see what this codex does by itself without any data. It's like nonsense. And that's what so, takes me to number two. Yes. Would you not agree? In all the illustrations that they'd have done this ninth edition for codexes. Yeah. The... What they've done there, in its simplicity... Oh, oh you like the is, cover? I think, well, no, not just that, I just like, even this. I, I, like, I, like, I like the box of cards. It, it's that, because it's the limited edition yeah, codex rather yeah, than the normal codex. So it looks the, a bit nicer. Just the whole thing. What they've actually done here... I've, I've, they, actually I, I actually, really had, I actually had a poster of that picture in the box as well. It's in my office. Yeah, I, just, um, I, 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 I love the illustration. I think they've done a really good job. It, it looks really nice, but yeah. I do have to say something as a guard player. When you're having battles in the 41st millennium, what the hell is a mechanical horse going to do? For you? <laughs> Not being funny. Right? I'd much rather that be the cover. Because that's cool. And I'm going to get myself one of those. Um, that's the Rogal Dawn battle oh, tank. Oh, yes, yes. Um, but not being funny. Guy on a horseback leading a guard army? T no, no. I'd rather have a guy with a half mechanical arm punching you know people in the be? face. They're going to bring that new model, aren't they? Commissar Yarrick on a horse. No, that, that, that is a new model. He's in the book now. He's called Lo Lord Solar... What's his face? He's really good, apparently, but I'm not going to get him because he's a guy on a horse. he's got a horse. Yeah. It's like yeah. he's trying to be a man of Rohan or something. Yeah, he, he, he's basically... What, what's, the, what's the king of Rohan? Um, Fairden. Fairden. He's like Fairden. Right? Alive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so, yeah, so it's really nice, but I, I I'm not interested in guys on horses. I want Rambos... Punching Suits. people in the face because that's just so much more fun. And a guy that looks appeals like he to me. To the Adeptus Mechanicus. Well, he's a tech priest. He came he, from he, he, he came he, from Mars. He looks like he comes from the Adeptus Mechanicus. He did. 
Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's an Imperium tech yeah, priest. They all come from. What I've learned more today turns out that the Adeptus Mechanicus support the Ashimitarum. I thought they just supported themselves. All the tech marines, tech priests, and everything else, even for space marines, all come from Mars and are trained <laughs> by the Admech. The Death Guard have uh, tech marines. No, because they're disgusting. Okay, cool. Anyway, I'm, 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 not I'm, interested. Did, right, that's the armies. No, they don't. Right, and, and, and did Hal have them? No. And the Necrons have them? Well, yes. They, no, 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 well, do they have tech priests from the Astro Hotel? No, uh, Adnex, sorry. No, so all four armies that at one point or not I've created, or had, none of them ever used these models. So the fact I didn't know that wasn't because I'm thick, it's because I've never had one. But now I know. It's and an, learning it's... is half the battle. Remember well, yes, the other half. Well, you may have won the the knowledge battle, but you will certainly lose the war. Never. Um, we need to decide who deploys where, sir. Sure. So after you, the dice roll doesn't that doesn't matter, <laughs> and I win the dice roll. That doesn't matter. You're gonna go. I'm gonna go here because I'm it's, standing here, and it's a, it's a better camera <laughs> angle. Uh, so, first, well, me because I'm I'm defending. I'm oh, going here. Okay, sure. Yeah. So we'll deploy. We'll alternate, and we'll be back. Right, and we're back, and we have deployed, so if you stuck with us, let's run through this. This is going to be hilarious when you see what Andy's done in a moment, but still. <laughs> uh, let's run through the guard first. Um, so I've put a Chimera on this flank, with uh, some guys in it with a melter gun. Same on this flank. Uh, in the middle, I've put a, a, a battle tank with the demolisher and melters, along with some Bulgrin. Um, I've, yeah, I can forward deploy scout sentinels, so I have done. So I've put one here to basically annoy you, yeah. um, and give you something to think about, especially if you don't go first. And then one here. Yeah. Did you do anything else? Don't show them mine yet. I'm not going to show you yours. I'll, 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 I've also put one round here because there's an objective there, and you know if I go first again, I can type me tank. Yep. So this is a thing. See what I did, but I don't don't show them. Don't show them. What? 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 What I've learned in tournaments right, is is what's better than. So for instance, what's better than three or grins would be six or grins. What's better than one Lehman Russ? Three Lehman Russ. What's better than ten box walkers on an objective? Fifty box walkers on an objective. Yes, that's right. He's an idiot. Right. Anyway, back to my point. <laughs> um, so yeah, so I've also put a chimera here, which can't be seen because of obscuring and things. And this one has Strachan and my Scions in, and you'll find out why later on, hopefully, as long as they get to do what they want them to do. Uh, and then back here, I've got my tank commander with Gatekeeper and the the, the other two Lehman Ross battle tanks here. Vanquisher, battle cannon. Uh, a tech priest is there because he's in his happy place. I've got my platoon command squad back here. My heavy weapons team not in the room, so they can't get shot at. And then infantry squad, infantry squad there like that with plasmas and missile launchers. So loads of infantry here to either go over there or go in the middle. And then tanks to zoom all over the place because grinding advance isn't a thing anymore. So I can move full distance and still blast the crap out of people. Especially when I'm as swift as the wind. I get an extra two inches to their move. So these tanks are moving 12 inches and then shooting you. And there's a tank order where I can make a tank advance and shoot as if it remains stationary. Yeah. And it advances even faster. But you have to have a tank to be able to move a tank. What happens if you don't have a tank? Well, then you just run really quickly. Um, but yes. basically, my tanks are going to be very, very mobile and shooting, which is why I'm not bothered about not having indirect fire. Because you can hide in here, for example, but I can just go zoom and then shoot you anyway. Yeah. So that's, it's going to be interesting to see how that works. Um... That's my deployment. Uh, your deployment, as you mentioned, you've got a blob of zombies on one objective. I've put a 50 box walkers there and a couple of characters. I put some some bait here. Bait? Yeah, put some they bait. They look like Blight Terminators to me. They're Blight Lord Terminators. Well, there's an objective here, so yeah, it, it, it makes sense. Yeah. Bait Lord Terminators. Um, bait, bait Lord Terminators. <laughs> <laughs> got my, all my vehicles lined up here and my lot of contagion here. If he wants to send stuff forward and try and take my... Tie up my tanks, do it. I'll just interrupt my character and kill them. Yeah, um, okay. so it's a so thing. I've got a bit of speed here with going to the middle, got my marines ready to jump <coughs> if I need to. My basic plan here is to play Death Guardy. Yeah. Okay, right. Um, <laughs> you are a gloaming bloat, aren't you? Oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> you are a gloating bloat. Right, let's see who goes you? first. After you, sir. Five. That's a three. Oh, no. Ooh, Ooh. Battle begins. Oh no! No! <laughs> well, we're gonna have one of these days again, aren't we? Oh, try uh, again. In, in the tray, sir. In the tray. Count. Six. Oh no! Oh. Hey, got God. turn one. This isn't fair. Right, I'll pick my secondaries, do my command movement phase, and then we'll oh, be back. Wait, wait, wait. What? Man. No. No, you didn't get your CP. Ha! I get a CP. I get one as well. No, you don't turn. actually, because no, it's 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 not Nephilim. So you only get a CP in your turn. Oh. <laughs> 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 And we're back in the room. Um, <laughs> guess what that's from, everyone? Comment below. Um, right, okay, so turn one command and movement phase for the guard in terms of missions. Let's see what I've got. So I've got blood and guts. 
Kill three things in combat. Um, I'm playing guard. Didn't really like that. But um, I've had to keep it because I got rid of, I had another one that I got rid of. So that's that, what's that one. Extend battle lines. Um, have my home objective marker and another one. Okay, easy. Battlefield Supremacy have three objective markers. Easy. Okay. I spent a CP to get rid of the deployed teleport home because that's a complete waste of time. Now in the command phase, all my tanks and things were sort of bundled around here. My tech priest gave my vanquisher tank a 5 plus invulnerable save. Because it needed one really, didn't it? Because that's what he can do. Yeah. This one's got one anyway because of his upgrade Knights of Piety. So that's that. Um, I forgot to mention as well my gatekeeper tank commander has the upgrade ridiculous whatever it is. He ignores cover when he shoots things basically. Right. Which is nice. Um, and that's that's all cover. Yeah. So it's not just trees, like it's dense cover as well. It's really good. New. So he's got he's got an invulnerable <laughs> save. He then ordered himself because of his wall trait. He could do that to reroll ones to hit and, that, and bounced to this tank and that tank. So they're all rerolling ones to hit. Right. My platoon commander here told my heavy weapons team to take aim plus one hit plus one AP. Right. So they moved to the heavy weapons. So that's plus one and minus one hit. So that hit on fours. But they've also now they've got AP four on my last cannons. Uh, and, and that then bounced to these two infantry squads that are also plus one hit and plus one AP. Yeah. Alright? Then over here, my Chimera advanced over there. Okay? This Chimera was striking the Scions, was here, it advanced to there. The one that was in the front got a really nice long advance, it got a six. And because of swift as the wind, that was a 20 inch move on a Chimera. Yeah, he's there. This Sentinel staying here because he's next to an objective. The sentinel that was here has moved right in front of your face, along with this battle tank. That has moved right in front of your face, after getting told by the Commissar to reroll ones to hit, because he knows tank orders. Okay, because of his wall trait and his relic means he can issue another order. So he also ordered my Borgrins to be objective secured. Yeah. And they then advanced within range of that objective to have that objective there. So I've got that objective, this objective, and the home objective. And you didn't get this one because you moved him around here? Yes, because I want to try and get a cheeky charge off and type, type this tank. But you're not going to? I'll, I'll try. But what do you need to charge him? Well, I'm 10 inches away. And I've got the charge of minus 2 to charge. Well, I'm getting plus 1 on my charge. So you need 11? Well, it's possible. I think you would have been better off keeping the objective. Well, I thought it would be hilarious, because if I make it, that's a tank out of action, and then you're boxed in. So the guy was facing 50 box walkers right behind him. I don't care. He can't see that, can he? Because the tank's in the way. Well, I think so it's, it's a heavy flame range. round out of range anyway. I've got 50 box walkers. Uh, I could tickle him in a full over. Probably. Well, come and do it. Come on. Never. Uh, anyway, so, so, so that's me. I'm, I'm doing some silly manoeuvres over there to see what's going on. I'm, 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 silly manoeuvres? I might charge your Terminators and see if you can actually kill it with the Terminators. The, the, he's got seven wounds now. They'll, they'll, they'll kill it. And a four-up save and toughness six. Well, toughness five. They'll, they'll kill it. Yeah, well, shall we find out? Or are you going to be yeah. a coward and do your strats whilst you're going to charge? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right, there you go. You're going to make you eat your words you, now. You were lucky you've got a parental channel because if it was my channel, I'd have said a swear. <laughs> um, anyway, so the reason why I've, I've shoved this tank commander in your face is basically now all the multi melts are in melter range, which is also hilarious. Yeah, so extra do damage, you, sir. Do you remember when I said I'm on your channel, I wouldn't say a swear? Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> So he's moving out of range. I've lined up my Vanquisher and my Gatekeeper for cannons to see both those tanks as well. If all goes well, both those Plague Burst Crawlers will be dead by the end of my shooting phase. That, that, that doesn't, things don't look very good for the Plague Burst Crawlers right now. No, no. And then I've got this one over here to maybe shoot that one, because Battle Cannons are flat free damage now. It's hilarious. I've also got free Lance Cannons over here lined up to shoot that one over yeah. there as well. <laughs> fun, isn't it? It's fun. Line, really. uh, so let's move into that shooting phase. That shooting phase, yeah. That's <laughs> shooting phase. And I might as well start with this tank here, because you can only really see one yeah. thing. Let's shoot a battle cannon at that plague bus core, and the heavy bolt was probably in range as well, so let's measure that up. Right, yes, the heavy bolt was just about in range. Let's do some tracer fire with the heavy bolt into your plague bus crawler. Can hit on falls. Look at that. Um, <laughs> the fives. No wounds on the well. But that was tracer fire and I've hit you, so that means the tracer fire has done its job. Yeah. Right? So now the battle cam there's D6 plus three shots. So we get five. Oh, it's gonna get that. So that's nine shots. Yeah. Andy, do you wish to concede? No. Um yeah. <laughs> So I'm getting plus one hits, it's turret weapons. I'm hitting yeah. on freeze. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Can you hit every single Well I've I've missed one. Yeah. Okay. At least sixes don't auto wound anymore. No. No, that's not the thing. Yeah. It's strength eight, so I'm gonna fours. Yeah. That that's not so good. That's, that's, that's fine. Three wounds, though. But minus two, so it becomes minus one. So three four ups. So that's six damage in total, but becomes four damage because of Death Guard. I will take the four damage. Okay. Do you know why? 
Because I can. Well, unless you want to spend a CP, you've sort of got to, really. Yeah. <laughs> uh, freelance cannons are now going to shoot at you. They're, okay. they're taking aim okay. at the same tank. Okay. So these are still going to hit on fours because plus one, minus one because they moved. All right. And I've hit you once. And I'm going to win you on a three because last cannon. Ah, oh, that's a shame. Mm -hmm. I, I, thought, I thought of a really cool combo. So if you take brutal strength as your regimental trait, you can move infantry and not suffer the penalty for moving. So you can move heavy weapons team and still be hitting on threes. It's hilarious. If you took like heavy weapon mortar teams, heavy weapons teams, last well, you wouldn't, wouldn't you wouldn't need to move mortars. Oh, no, but but the ordnance batteries with heavy last cannons, you could hide them, move them out, give them take aim, and you know six shots hit. Cool. Like the mini basilisk gun you've got over there. Oh, they're like, they're like ordnance batteries, but they're indirect. Oh, that's what that is? Yeah. Oh, okay, that's what I thought it was. But they're indirect anyway, so you need yeah. to move them. Uh, anyway, so that's, that's this side sort of done. He advanced, so... Well, I've, got, I've got a heavy flame on a sentinel there. Let's burn some Terminators. Why not? You're going to get burnt more than I am. You're going to get burned five times, Sam. Going to read you on fours. That's three, uh, two, two up saves. It's AP1, but I'm content. Ah, damn it. If you didn't have armor content, I would have wounded one. Okay, fine. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah. All right, I've got some big guns now. You have big guns? Yeah, I've got big guns. In them. Right. right, so, the, so he's, in this, he's in dense cover, isn't he, this chap? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So what I'll do is I'll shoot everything from this one into the nearest one first. Yeah. Okay? Okay? Okay. 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 Yeah. okay. Or, or do I? Hmm. Do I? No, you know what? I'll shoot everything from this tank at it. Let's get the Vanquisher cannon done. So it's going to hit on a three. I'm rerolling ones to hit. I'm rerolling ones to hit. Ah! ah! <laughs> That's why I don't think they're a competitive choice. No, uh, no. Last cannon will hit on a four. No wound on it, not that. And then I've got some heavy bolters just to chip away. So fours, rerolling ones. It's really That's a weird. really weird dice. It was. Let's roll that again. There we go. Uh, winning on fives. Two with minus one, but you don't care. And it's two damage, but you don't care. One damage. Uh, yeah. Did I fire the last cannon? I did fire the last cannon. Yeah. Okay. So that that tank did one damage. Well done. Who's shooting that tank? Thing? Shooting the one that's not in dense cover. Yes. And now I'm going to shoot it with everything from the tank right in front of you. And we'll start with Mr. Demolish Cannon. It's D6 shots. For six shots. You are so unbelievable with your dice rolling, sir. Well, the Vanquish kind of missed, to be fair, so I think that makes up for it. <laughs> this is my crown. I win this when I win the game. Well, put it down then, because you're not going to win. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to hit you on freeze, because it's a turret weapon. So, freeze. You should have probably seen Andy, He was really willing ones to hit, but I didn't get any ones. And you got a two. That's annoying, isn't it? Um, and then I will win you on freeze, because it's from 10. Have you actually win you? Oh, yeah, one. That's right. It's four at minus three. Oh dear. And he's, he's, that then. So, <laughs> four invulnerable saves, and each one's D3 plus three damage. So, three have gone through. Would you like to command point one of those? <laughs> Bearing in mind, I've also got four multi melter shots coming at you in a second. Is, have you already prepared that at that tank? Yeah, everything's going into it. That's fine. Damage. Yeah, so. Okay, so you should let them go, yeah? So, three went through, each one's D3 plus three. That's so, that's six, five. which comes five, and these yeah, are both five, five, which comes four. No. Oh yeah, five. So four, four, and five. Okay, okay. Yeah. Goodbye, Mr. Tank. Does he blow up? Uh, let's find out. Yeah, let's. He does. Yeah, he Hilarious. Does. Let's work and, that uh, out. That's great. I like that. All right. Boom. Went the library plague burst crawler, and after the dust settled, uh, three mortal wounds on your drone, uh, one on your rhino, one on your plague burst crawler, and one on your lord of contagion as well. Uh, but there was also three on my sentinel. Yeah, I'm actually... but it is only a sentinel. But you know what's good about this. Yeah. I've wasted lots of your shots from the belt. Well, that's fine, because now I've got Mr. Gatekeeper here who ignores cover. He can shoot the other Plague Burst Crawler and not go down without the cover. Yeah. So he's going to put everything into that tank over there. Okay. Right, Gatekeeper going into Plague Burst Crawler. So you get six plus D3 shots. So plus two. So I'm getting eight shots. Hit on freeze. We all in ones because he ordered himself. Glorious. Got a few twos, but that's fine. Strip nine gatekeeper, so we'll be winning on threes. And I haven't spent the command point reroll yet, so let's do one of them. Until one. Yeah. So that is three at minus three, flat three minus damage. Two, so that'll be five up. Five up, yeah. So that's three damage, which comes two damage on that crawler. Okay. Okay, so that's down to seven. 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 Uh, last cannon. 
Dismiss. Uh, it does miss. It misses your four now. Yeah. Yes, that's a shame. Mm. Okay, so I blew up a tank, damaged another tank, and did some more other damage. The Sentinel over there will just heavy flame your Rhino, I think. Because what? Why not? I guess. No, uh, no, it's, it's the drone. D six and your drone two. Queens on fives. Hey, one three up on your drone. Oh, shame. So I found my big guns. Bum, 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 bum. They've all advanced. It's time for charges now, I guess. Yeah. So, what to do? I could charge your Lord of Contagion. That'd be fun, wouldn't it? Hmm. Dead. Let me check the stats of the chainsaw. It'd be hilarious if I managed to kill him. Oh, no, he's got, he's got minus one damage. I can't. Yeah, you can't do to kill him. No. But, mm, I'll, I think I'll charge your rhinoceros with my sentinel. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to pass one on my charge because swift is the wind. Carry on. So I'm getting free. You're not Am I within four inches? Mm, no. Uh, we'll measure it. Let's measure it. Right, okay, so yeah, I'm just out of charge range with the Sentinel. I needed a four, so I think about double one I would have been in. Um, so I'm going to come over this to the Sentinel here. I'm going to charge these Terminators here. With a seven inch charge, but I'm going to pass one on my charge. I'm not going to use my CP thing to make it minus two. You carry on fighting. Yeah, because you want to kill the Sentinel, don't you? I, I, you I, really want to kill it. We'll get some revenge on you. Yeah, yeah. well, I've made the charge. <laughs> don't you touch my little boy. <clears throat> right, I've made the charge, I've piled in, get three attacks now with a chainsaw and sent off. It's nice, I'm isn't it? Get you, boy. Let's do it. So I'm going to hit you on fools. Yeah, you I think twice. Fights. Get in. You tough as five, but I'm spent six of a sentinel stats, and we're doing three. Skank <laughs> you have a damn. I've got a wound at minus two AP, so that means you've got a free up save. <laughs> which you failed, and it's two damage, which that becomes one fun. damage. But I've wounded a Terminator with a Sentinel. That I could yeah. never do in the old Codex. No, no, so you so, couldn't. so that, that is that a win, as far as I'm concerned. Are they going to consolidate? Well, you pile in. Pile in. You may do so, sir. And then let's see if now you can actually kill a Sentinel yeah. with some Terminators. Let me check some strats. Right, I was just seeing if I could do a blade of plating on a Scout Sentinel. I can't, they don't have the armoured keyword. If they were normal Sentinels, or armoured Sentinels, I could have done... So I can't mask one damage, but okay. So let's see if you can kill it. Three CPs I've just spent. You just have you seriously just spent loads of CPs just to kill a sentinel. Do you know why? Desperation, because... people. Desperation. It's a scout <laughs> sentinel. That's gonna get me into the objective. Once I kill it. No, you've got to kill it first. Yes. Uh one to hit, plus one to wound. No, that's what you spent it on. Okay. Yeah. Well, you still missed missed, <laughs> missed twice. <laughs> <laughs> that's a flail doing its thing. Uh which uh, strength five, five, you put me down a toughness freeze. toughness. Before, let's go down to freeze. Yeah, because I'm toughening six normally, so yeah, so, so you wouldn't want to freeze because of veterans, and be real plug plague weapon. Or go for it, Four, minus two. two. Yeah. I don't get on with contempt, so it's six up saves. Oh, dear. Two damage apiece. Oh, no. Oh, look, he's dead. No, you got a wound. No, I've got a wound left, oh, sir, because I've got seven many, wounds. Many, now. many, many attacks coming in. You've got all your axes, let's see if they can actually do something. <clears throat> Sure, it's, oh. you've only got four terminators, yeah. mate. So yeah, you just I hit know. me with a flail. Yeah, so four, three, three, six. Three, six, nine, twelve, thirteen. Definitely. Hitting on twos. And then you're strength six of an X, aren't you? Twos, you're only ones. Uh, three, it's down, it's yes, twos, because of veterans, yeah, every one of ones. You've spent me CPs. Yeah, because you, you, you thought you wouldn't kill a sentinel if you didn't. No, I didn't. Yes. Think you were, I did. <laughs> yes. That's exactly yes, why. Exactly why, boy. No. Well, right. let's face it, if you weren't hitting on twos and you pass one, you probably wouldn't die. <laughs> oh, look, he's dead. Yeah. Now, does he blow up? Go on. Ah! Cool. Then we'll say we'll tie in the three inches. We can consolidate your three inches after I pick them up. Let me just check. I don't think you'll actually be able to get on me, Jenny. I'm, I'm within three of it, so. Yep. Yeah, it's in your order six that blows up. Are you? Oh, yeah. well, you didn't score primary in your first turn anyway. So no, I got, no, I can move minus better sickness. You just gave it's not match play, you Wally. Oh, no, I forgot. I don't need to do that. No. <laughs> sure, the sickness isn't a thing, Andy. <laughs> <laughs> it's my tournament list. I'm used to playing tournament rules. Oh, oh, dear. Anyway, so that's the end of my I turn. I used three CP for no reason. No you, no, you didn't waste them. You used three CP. Otherwise, they would have been stuck there because they wouldn't have killed the Sentinel. Nice and you nice. know it. Yeah. Um... But I have, I have, meanwhile, I have got extend battle lines and battlefield supremacy because I've got this objective, that objective, that objective. So go. I get 10 points. Yay! Yay! 10 points to now. Woo! Yes, go. Go Astra Militarum. Right, and we'll be back for Death Guard, turn one. 
Okay, Death Guard turn one. Come on, and movement phase and things. Uh, the Guard are winning 10 points to nil. Uh, but you haven't had a turn yet, so let's see what you got. <laughs> uh, you got overwhelming firepower, kill three things with guns. Blood and guts, kill three things in combat and get behind enemy lines. Basically, you want to kill stuff and get in my deployment zone. I did. I spent a CP on rerolling one because I didn't. Well, not rerolling, but get rid of it. Investigate site because you could have done it with your Marines, yeah, but to be honest, to. you'd much rather just kill things with yeah, the Marines. Exactly. Um, so in your turn, you, the Marines, let's start with them, I guess, they got the Rhino and ran into that ruin. They're on the ground floor, though, but you just yeah. put them there so we can see where they are. Exactly. Um, ease of access and ease of view of simplicity. It, Plague Marines do love ease of access, I think that's fair to say. Yeah, uh, like, <laughs> uh, yep, this goes over here, came over here just to get onto that objective and uh, yeah. be a couple and, and, and you've kept one of them in the ruin. Mm. To sort of tempt me to shoot them, maybe? I don't know. No. But anyway, yeah, so, so, so they're there on that object. He's touching you in, I should mention that. Okay, well, yeah, but uh, either way, I can shoot them now, but yeah. you, you said that was fine, okay. Yeah. Uh, you've got a black drone here because you, you want to shoot probably the heavy weapons team and kill them because you want to kill three units with guns. Yeah. Um, you've moved one of your tanks a bit, you've advanced some plox walkers around, your player cluster's come up here so we can smite the sentinel and things, and you've maneuvered your Lord of Contagion to go and charge that or that or something. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. you're pushing forwards. You're you're on your way to get behind enemy lines, but not yeah. quite there yet. But anyway, uh, psychic phase, Death Guard Andy. So I have no you're denies. Good. So you feel free. Onto the, uh, the, the, you know, the 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 plague marines. Yeah. Nice. There's seven or more. No. It doesn't go off. I'm going to seek it. Are you? Are you okay. No. That's a shame. I'm going to do um, <laughs> magical presence onto the plague marines as well. Ooh, okay. Uh, uh, oh, that's a sh oh no, perils. Or at least he hasn't perils. To be fair, normally perils is. Wasn't very good, was it? No, so it was almost as good as my vanquisher cannon. No more. Um, <laughs> oh dear. This uh, task can go in the bin. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, was she shooting? Oh dear, that, that was dreadful. Um, well, that, that, that kind of really didn't do very good for me there. I was kind of relying on that to send them into your to have a good fight with them. Ball win, sorry. Oh, well. Where, where do you want to start with? Him, him into them. Shoot Six them. Shots. Yeah, I, I would love to take cover, but it's not a strat anymore. It's an order, and they weren't yeah. ordered to take cover. Um, so I hit five that's times. very good. You were winning on twos because there's three humans. And I'll be running ones. Yeah. Like and they're OP three, damage two. Oh, they're all dead. Yeah. Splat. Like Splat. Splat. I mean, they came out so they could shoot something, and they didn't really do much damage, and they got shot in the face, and they died. So yeah. that's one of the overwhelming firepower. You need two more. <laughs> yeah. Next up, that tank <clears throat> there is going to shoot into your demolition tank over there. Is it? Yeah. Is it really? It's going to do that? Yeah. Two CP. Minus one damage. And another CP. Pot smoke. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Only from him into that. So, <laughs> thanks for jams. Any more threes? Fours. Uh, fours. Well, that's one miss, and okay, one hit, okay. Keep that. Okay, tough as eight, so yeah, that's a wound. Minus four, five, yeah. Because my lord. Uh, no, it's four inches, turn one, so carry on. Yeah, I haven't got three P just yet, so I do get a six up save. Uh, no, he's got a five plus invulnerable save because of his upgrade, so five up in bar. No! Uh, I'm going to CP that. <laughs> no! <laughs> okay, so D3 plus three, but then minus one. So three. four, but three. Yeah. So he's down to ten wounds. Got on 13 now. Healthy. Yeah. I've got one water. Yeah. Six shots for five. Five shots. Hit on fours, because popping smoke. And then fours to wounds, strength eight. Tough as eight. No. Nice. Next up, I'm going to shoot my. Is the volley gunning range? Take wounds. There's a volley gunning range. Did you want to check? Are you bothered? No, I'm not bothered. It doesn't do anything. Um, <laughs> yeah, okay. The take wounds are going to shoot into the unit in there. Are they? Yeah, because we're also by so well, we're in those ones. Well, this is a separate ruin that oh, you're obscured well, by. Yes. So okay, well, maybe one plague ring can see them? They're going to shoot into a tank then. I forgot to shoot with these, but to be oh, fair, I don't think they could see much anyway. Down because the plague ring's in there by for range. Well, the normal contagion oh, range for you at the moment is only one inch. Of course, yeah, sorry. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I'm tired. Um, right, so, we're so going to shoot everything into the tank. Are you? Okay, what are you starting with? Light launchers. Okay, so they're hitting on fours. Uh, yeah, we were on so ones, pop smoke. but no ones, actually. Shift six. So, nope. What else Plasmas, you got? I'm not everything. But yeah, rapid fire range. Yeah, they're rapid fire range, and you can roll the ones, because you're lord. So you've hit me twice with plasmas, and you said you weren't overcooking, so now you're winning on fives. Uh, AP three, that's five up in volume either way. Mm, Made it. Yes. <clears throat> got a load of bolters and things, haven't you? Hitting on fours, rerolling ones. Hit three times, winning on sixes. 
No. Right, next up, I'm going to shoot my, 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 my... Your rhino. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to shoot that into the, uh, into the little guy. The skentanol? Yeah. Decent okay. shots on the, uh, on the habit launcher. Oh, very cheeky. Freeze to hit. And then top is five now, so we four. Oh, no. Four shots at that range. <laughs> you hit once. <laughs> and you got a five. He <laughs> wounded! Yeah. Hey. He wounded! Uh, AP1. It's AP1, which means I failed the save. <laughs> right, I did a wound. Comical genius. Combi bolt at uh, AP1 because of your lords. Yeah, okay. Right. It's Ferric Blight. Okay. Tank number two, because tank number one was so successful. Yeah, I'm kind of concerned here. <laughs> uh, uh. I've got a demolisher tank right in front of me. What do I do? Uh, the hilarious thing is, is, of course, if you charge my tank with my lord, I can still shoot my demolisher cannon out of combat because it's a turret weapon. You can't tie up turret weapons anymore. So if you tie me up, I can still shoot the demolisher cannon at your tank. Okay. And then no, and then melt you in the face with the other guns. You're not going to be there. You don't think? No. Well, he's got five ups invulnerable save and five up shrugs to mortal wounds because of his upgrade. Yeah, I've got I've got lots of hurt coming his way. And I can make him more minus one damage. Yeah, it'd be fine. Okay. 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 okay, okay, okay. Um, Have a piece of cheese. <laughs> down bed in quick man spider, do something. Um, sorry. What was that for? Was that for Mossian Powers or something? No, it was... <laughs> Kids, don't watch this. Okay, Go right. on to um, YouTube and put in uh, Burnt Face Man, and you'll find a series guy called uh, David Firth who did Salad Fingers. Oh, that guy, do you remember that? No. You don't remember the Salad Fingers? Oh, God. No. Anyway. He right, what, what, Burnt Face Man. What's he doing? Like, that's crime. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so he's going to shoot the mortar into uh, the mortar and this. The slugger. Into that and okay. The entry cannons are both going to go into that. Okay. Cool. So, I'm going to do the entry cannons first because it's important to me. I hit them falls because I pop smoke. Oh, that's a shame they both made. CP1. Because we have a better CP, yeah, yeah. Oh, he's hit! And you're going to wait on falls because that tank isn't in contagion range yet. Yeah, good. 5 plus invulnerable save. No, D3 plus 3, but minus 1. So that would be 5, five it goes down to 4. So I've got, I've got 6 rings left. Okay. You're bracketed now, aren't you? Yeah, but there's a CP where I can make a map in the top bracket. I just wanted you to be bracketed. Do you know why? Lots enough to spend a CP. No, so when you overwatch, you get less shorts. Makes no difference. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Makes no difference. Shut up. <laughs> but anyway, the, the, the other shot's going into the, the, uh, the skentanol. Yeah, so D6 on the mortar for four. Oh, I was trying to get a wish for four. Um, well, you roll four dice when you need three shots. <laughs> but they've all hit anyway, so you hit three times. <laughs> you roll the one. Three sixes, look at that. Uh, it's eight three because of your lord. It's three because of my lord. Cook lord. Which means I don't get to save, it's dead. It's dead, dead. So does it blow up? It does blow up! Hilarious. Brilliant. Okay, right, Sentinel blew up. Um, it was out of range of everything except for your lord, so we took a mortal wound. Yeah. Uh, now you're charging him into my tank commander, and I'm overwatching. So here we go, demolish cannon, D6 wait, shots. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, you want to see if you actually make the charge first. Well, okay, he's, yeah, he's in. Okay. But let's see if he actually survives first. Demolish cannon, we'll have five shots. He'll hit on sixes. There's two sixes. Oh, <laughs> ten for ten, I'm going to wound you on twos. <laughs> Spend another CP. I am, oh, I am spending a CP. <laughs> Spend a CP there. Down to two. Two, oh, two invulnerable saves. Two four ups. I made one now. I'm, I'm just it's D3 plus three now damage. I'm going to spend another CP. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay. fine. Four multi melters. Oh, shit. <laughs> this is what happens when you charge Sixes. a tank. Sixes. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Laz Cannon. I'm not worried about that. Ah, okay, well, uh, we both spent CPs and things, well, but you you're in. Well, I spent one, so it was worth it for me. Yeah, um, well, if you didn't make that save, though, he would be right. dead. Now, he's going to die, so now I can put them into the bully grins. Are you? Yeah, okay. yeah, I need to fix that again. Yeah, seven. I don't know, something like that. Roll the dice. Uh, five. Ooh. Mm, no, I'm spending CP yeah, because I'm definitely yeah. good No, you've just spent a CP in the charge phase on a saving throw, therefore you cannot re-roll the charge because it's in the same phase, sir. Mm, yeah. Ha! But if right. you didn't do it, you'd be dead. I'll be charging so, the, uh, I'll yeah. charge that into them now. Um, well, you'd have to go round the ruin. No. You can't fly over things in the charge phase. Oh. Do you want to charge the chimera? I'm going to charge him into him. Uh, okay, it's a very long charge, but go for it. Oh. <laughs> I mean, you won't kill it because you just got a little plague probe. Uh, actually, I can do things with this guy. He's brilliant. 
Now, well, not in combat. He's not. Actually, he's the one with the I'm gun. Eleven inch tried, so I'm going to come all the way around here, be mm. an inch. Okay. And do you know what I am now? I'm yeah. And enemy lines. Oh, because yeah. your deployment yeah. or it's a nine inch no man's land Shut up. <laughs> is it, it holier holier than my I'm sure it will be but well, we'll have to measure it up at the end of your turn yeah, yeah, yeah you might, might have got it a t- and it's, and it's going to have to survive I mean yeah but then I'm fighting a guy with a sword so I need a glue you're fighting a guy right that, that is the biggest insult I've ever heard to a commissar <laughs> I'm fighting a guy with a sword he's not going to do anything right, well I'm going to fight over here first in my book because you could interrupt me with two last two last I'm not two. going to turn one is now over pretty much and you're on 2CB from 12. Well, you're only on 5, and you started on more than me. <laughs> I have a tiny man. <laughs> Who's got you? How many CT so far? I'm down, baby. Have a piece of cheese. None. Right. Yeah. Okay, so he has, what, 5 attacks or something? 5 or 6 attacks? How many attacks have you got with your lord? Um, I don't know, but I think I'm sick. They are at the moment, yeah. How many are you on? I think I've got that objective, though, because I've got more infantry, because they're on the bottom floor. So yeah. that is my objective, going into turn 3. So that's what I needed to do. Well, good, good for you. Um, so yeah, I've got um, six attacks. Six attacks, is it? Okay, Hit cool. Hit them on twos. Hit them on twos, yeah. Uh, like, any sleeping, like, any better? Oh. Uh, he's got a free damage weapon, hasn't he? Yes. Minus one damage. Okay. Go for it. Was the minus one to hit only on range? Yes. Good. So so you still hit on twos. Hit on twos, but you are minus one damage now. Yeah, and I've still got a five plus involved and five trucks to mortal wounds. Um... I'm just going to check a strategy real quickly. Okay. But sorry. Right, people. It's a, it's a command point fest. Because <laughs> you just spent how many? Uh, I've spent lots, and you've just spent uh, lots how, as well. well. Before you say you spent lots, how many have you got left from your original 12 that you started with a turn ago? Oh, well, I started with nine, to be fair. So nine. How many have you got left in your from your first turn? Uh, none. <laughs> uh, I'll spend two CP again on a blade of plate to minus one damage, because if that tank survives, I'm going to have a good time. Um, and you've just, just spent you another two on plus one a wound. wound. See, six hit tanks on hit on twos. We're rolling ones. Oh, no, no, just hit on twos. So hit on twos. Hit on twos. Yeah, hit on twos. Okay, yeah, so you've hit every hits. time. Now you're wounding on twos now because of plus one a wound. We want a one to play weapon. And now I can get the one, that's okay. Okay, right, so, so wounded every six, time. Six. AP four. Oh, yeah, any of those sixes? No, no so you're not doing any mortal no wounds. So I have six five plus invulnerable saves. The Reaper of Glory essentially means on sixes, mortal wounds, but obviously no sixes. So six five plus invulnerable saves, and each one will be two damage, not three damage. Yeah. Okay, so you need three for me to fail three of these you saves. You've got CP, do you know why? Because I'm going to see CP. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, you're, I'm you're dead. just about dead. But do I blow up? No. no. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> okay. You may consolidate, sir. Well, he blew up a plague burst crawler. You are my nearest enemy unit there, so do you know what I'm going to do? Go there. Yeah, you can go there. So now that I'm not the nearest Yeah, we're going to look up, sir, at the Plague Marines, yeah. Cool. Nope. Well, so. These are the nearest unit. <laughs> I'd love to pay two CP and interrupt, but I, well, you, I haven't yeah. got any CP. Are you going to Plague Probe my Commissar? We'll go do something. No, I've got a Plague Probe. Right? Yeah, he's got a Plague Probe. That's all he's got, because he's got a gun. He's a shooty drone. Oh, of course. He hasn't, got, he hasn't got a flesh mower. Yeah. No. Mm. no, he's got a Plague Probe. Like. Got he's got four attacks with a Plague Probe. Knock yourself out. No. Oh. How many wounds have you got? Four or oh, five. Oh I don't think you'll kill me. No. Hit on freeze. <clears throat> no, definitely not now. And you're winning on twos because contagion and things are like two. AP at the end. Well, I've got five plus and one, we'll save. Two. Okay, I'll, I'll take two wounds. <laughs> okay, I think he's got three or two left. I'll have to check. I've lost two. Right, I'm going to fight you back with the commissar. He's got a power sword. He hits on freeze. Like that. Do it. Uh, he's going to win you on fives. Not like that. No. Okay, cool. Um, so that is the end of your turn, Death Guard Andy, sir. You've killed two things with guns. And you've killed one thing in combat. So you're working your way towards those secondaries, and we're going to have to measure up now and see if you've actually got behind enemy lines. So let's do some measuring, because this drone is still alive. Right, we're back. Guard turn two. So yeah, Death Guard didn't get any points, but I did. Uh, uh, so I've got ten primary, because I had this one and that one. You had the middle one, uh, but not anymore. Um, so in my turn, what I've done, so I, I ordered the Borgrins to be objective secured again with the Commissar, who fell out of combat, and then ran into there with the Borgrins. Um, he was just out of range to order my battle tank here as well, unfortunately. But hey-ho, whatever. Um, so this battle tank's just moved up here. The Chimera moved over there as well, but before it did, the Guardsman got out, ran in here and nicked that objective over here, because I've got Tempting Target. And you chose this one. 
Yeah. I mean, they're able to nick it, but I mean, they're, they're going to be dead in a minute. Um, so yeah, so, so I've got the Hempton target. As mentioned, I also got behind enemy lines, which is why the Chimera has gone that way. Because if I get a charge off, I'm behind enemy lines. You are. Uh, and then I also got grind them down, which is kill more things than you kill. Yeah. So eh, we'll see. Um, yeah. Back here, I told these infantry squads to take aim, and they've shuffled about a bit. Um, my tech priest told my vanquished tank to have a five plus invulnerable save, and they've moved around a bit after. Um, this tank model ordered himself to reroll once to hit, which also meant this guy can reroll once to hit because orders bounce and things. Um, and then over here, the Camera was tracking the Scions moved up, the, the Scout Sentinel moved around, and then this tank moved forwards as well. So I'm putting pressure all over the place. I'm all over the place. Pressure. You're under pressure, just like David Bowie and. Um, what? Yeah, no. David Bowie and Freddie Mercury, they did it together. Right. You don't, yeah, yeah. I know my music, yeah, thank you. It's Freddie Mercury and Queen did Under Pressure. Yeah, with David Bowie. Dum bum 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 dum bums. Bum 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 dum bums. Yeah, it's David Bowie and Queen, Freddie Mercury. So well, you don't even know yourself, look. I'll right. have to Google it and prove you right and prove you wrong. I'm never proved wrong when it comes to Queen. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's just. Okay. Um, so yes, yeah, so, so, so that's what I've done back here. I'm also sort of kind of screening you out a bit because you, you have got deep strike options. Yeah. Even though you have to roll to see if they come in, you still have got behind enemy lines, so you might be tempted to drop something back here. Good luck trying to do that now because I've moved that around a bit. Screening. Yeah. Um, so yeah, uh, second phase. I've got any. Let's go straight into <laughs> shooting phase. <laughs> this lot is shooting those terminators. All right. I've got a metal gun there, so let's start with that. I hit you. I hit you with a metal gun. I haven't move. wounded. Right, I've got a load of las guns. See. I'm not spending a CP on that. No, I'm saving it for other things. No. I've, got, I've got loads of flashlights. So I've got a las pistol plus. Oh, let me cut some dice. When you load Many flashlights, up, what? Well, when you load up your flashlights and you use your double A battery, have you told your Marines it's probably more efficient to throw the batteries at whoever you're shooting with it? Is that your own gun? Like... Yeah, I mean, I mean the, the size of the flashlight is probably better used as a melee weapon. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I've, I've hit many times. Sixes don't also wound anymore because yeah. I'm not born soldiers. Uh, and I've wounded once. once. Uh, twice, actually. Twice. Oh, yeah, twice. So yeah, yeah. yeah. Two top saves. Go on. Oh. Yeah. Right. We knew it was the though. Um, right. This tank here. Shooting those plague wings there. And heavy flamers will go into the loot room. Get it. Alright. So... No minus one to hit. Then get it off. Might as well get the... Um, what do you mean no minus one to hit? I, no, you didn't get minus one off, did you? I'll minute. put the heavy bolt onto your drone as well. Because against your plague wings, you'll have a top save against that. So two, six heavy flamer shots first. Five. Brilliant. And I can't reroll anymore because I catch on. Uh, <laughs> I used to love the catch on reroll. Yeah. Uh, winning on five over the heavy flamers. Uh, oh. Two, two free up saves because I'm a contempt. Cool, took the wound off. Heavy bolt. Um, yeah, Missed good. every time. Yeah. So just one wound off of that with the flamers. That's fine. And then uh, D6 plus three with the battle cannon into the plague marines. That's nine shots. Uh, no, six. D6. Plus three. Oh, sorry, sorry. It's a, it's a different the, the relic it's one. The relic one is yeah. six plus D three. The normal one's D six plus yeah, three. Yeah, yeah. As well as the relic one having extra AP and strength. Uh, so hit an arm freeze into your plague marines. <sighs> Come on. And we need arm freeze. Strength eight. That, that kind of averages out a bit. So. Minus two, but you're uncovering you got armor contempt. So That's three, two. three up saves. Okay. And you made them all. That's a shame because it would have been damage free, which would have actually killed them. Never mind. Okay. Fine. Yeah, um, frag bombs, frag bombs. Let's throw a frag bomb. You can. And here we are in the natural habitat. Heretic Dave is currently revising down the codex, looking for new things. This is why most people call Heretic Dave when they don't know what to do. Because unlike most people, in the natural habitat, the predator learns from the prey. And Heretic Dave will do some rolling. You're actually filming. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I was uh, doing my day for that in bro. I'm gonna throw a frag bomb into the plague greens. I'll get five oh, shots. You need to get five shots, stop it. Got it on fours. Oh dear. Uh they put a win on fives. We are AP two now. Oh, look at that. Which is nice, so that's three free up saves. Well, that's a wound on your plague rings. I think they're only one damage. But you might be damage anyway. So yeah, wound on the plague ring with frag bombs. Frag bomb, frag bomb, you're a frag bomb. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Tom. Well, 
Yeah. Whichever one that is. Cool. It was Sex Bomb, wasn't it? By Tom Jones. I, oh, I know, I know the Tom. song. Yeah, so I thought um, it was Tom, Tom Jones. How many wounds is that? Drone got five. Okay, right. Let's yeah. shoot all this infantry at that pesky drone. Except for some of them can't because they hid them beyond the ruin. But let's shoot this unit into that drone. So I've got to shoot a crack missile. I'm going to hit all three because I take a name. And um, it's going to win on a three. Not like that. Oh, Brilliant. Yeah. And then I've got a plasma gun. Um, I can't shoot. Yes. Do I supercharge the plasma gun? Damage, next damage right out, but I'll wound better. Yeah, let's supercharge it. Oh dear. He's missed both times, but, <laughs> but, but he's not dead. Oh, and then no. I've got a bunch of las guns. Three, four, five, six, seven, pistol, eight. No. I've got a heavy weapons team. That many. Oh, I'm freeze. To, to take it oh, aim. Oh, oh. Well, they didn't aim very well, did they? No. Take aim at that drone. What drone? Oh, the one you just missed. It's the one that you couldn't hit. Uh, <laughs> we got sixes. Cheeky, yeah. Oh, yeah, oh two wounds. cheeky wounds, though. Okay, three up saves. I missed one. Oh. Just, just one chip some wounds off of it. Yeah. Fine, okay. Fine, 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 fine. 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 Right. Chimera, I think it's in range of this drone here. So let's start off with the Lasgun Array, because that's the best weapon, isn't it? Yeah. So I'm going to hit you on fours. Like that. Glorious. No, that's a free. Uh, I'll win your sixes. <laughs> no. Oh, right. Dear. The multi laser has four shots now. It does. And hits on threes because it's it a does. turret weapon. It's amazing. Look at that. Twice. It's amazing. Uh, shrimp six, so fives. Yeah. It's got an AP though, but you got armor contempt. Yeah. That didn't do anything. Heavy Bolter. <laughs> hits once. <laughs> Doesn't wound. Brilliant. Oh, I, mean, I, oh, I, mean, I found the same as well. I didn't even wound you. Right. Well. Brilliant. Okay, so that drone doesn't want to die. Fine, let's just no. fine. Um, this Camaro here hasn't shot anything yet, has he? But he can't see the drone because there's a building in the way. Yeah. Um, but he might as well shoot the, the, the rhino? No. He's just, just, just going to shoot the rhino. Uh, and he'll be rapid fire range as well, so he can shoot all the last gun arrays. Because you don't actually have to have guys inside Camaro to shoot the last guns on them. Oh, really? No, they just it's, shoot them all the time now. That's amazing. So it, you can have 10 guns you can get, shoot the guns and then get out with their las guns, but still then shoot the las guns from inside, even when they're not inside and they could even be dead. Yes, exactly that. That's amazing. Yeah. So, they're gonna hit, so this is this is into your rhino. I like it. I mean, most of them are missed anyway. <laughs> and and, and the thing is, they, they are still just, just las guns. So, yeah. I'm like a wound. But that is a free up safe for your rhino. <laughs> ah, multi laser. Yeah, let it hit on freeze helps, let yeah, didn't wound. Uh, <laughs> Henry Bolt there. Brilliant. Oh, oh, no. And Chimeras are still useless at killing things. Yeah, they're, uh, they're never good, let's face it. No, I mean, having the auto win on sixes thing was nice because the amount of shots. Mm. But, hmm, that, okay. That taking out is, uh, well, you I, can I, have it, but then you can't have any more traits. I'm, I'm kind of being honest here. I'm kind of underwhelmed in turn two of the firepower of the, def the, 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 the guard. The Def Guard firepower was very yeah, underwhelming. Yeah, yeah, I know. But your tanks aren't killing... Much. Well, the thing with the guard codex is it's very good. It's better than the last one, but it's not, by no means OP. No, you, you everyone's like, oh, vanquish cannons are broken. No, they're really not. It's one shot. It's one shot, and it might be very high, but if you miss, you miss. miss. It's yeah, the same as the rail gun. It's only good if you. That's hit. exactly what it is. Yeah. Uh, this camera here is going to shoot your crawler because it's anything you can shoot at. No, so sure. let's shoot some las guns. Minus one to hit because you'll be shooting into that. No, that's right. It's only las guns. Fives. Then you actually make a whack of them. Mm -mm. Half. To Sixes. Hey, for up saving your crawler. Ah, oh, oh. I just wanted to damage your crawler with a las gun. That would be Never. hilarious. Harry Bolter misses every time. <laughs> Mark Laser will hit on four, though, because plus one to hit. Look at that. And then it will win on a five. No. Yeah. Okay. Um, you right. Why don't you shoot your ball guns at me? Oh, wait, you can't, because they can't shoot anything. They do, they throw a frag bomb. Oh, that's like they threw a frag bomb. Oh, yeah, they missed. Yeah. yeah. Um, no, they, they wounded. Oh, they, 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 they wounded one. They wounded, they wounded the plane Tom, ring. Didn't they? That's how like wounded Tom Jones. Yeah. yeah like right. Okay. Oh, I would love to see what this Vanquisher cannon does shooting that plague burst crawler. But I'm going to be hitting it on fours because hmm, it doesn't cover. Whereas I could just blow that drone out of the sky with it. Yeah. So let's do that. Everything for the Vanquisher E drone. Let's get rid of it. Okay. All right. Carry on, sir. Vanquisher cannon. Hit on a three, rerolling once. I was, waiting, I was just waiting to get a two then for a moment. It's hit. I know. It's strength 14. Seven. Twos. Oh, my. I want, I, I want to CP this just to see what it can do. So let's CP that. Hey. Now, it's AP5, and you can't take invulnerable saves. 
So you don't get a save. And then it's six plus D3 damage. All right, so that's seven damage, which becomes six. And then you would also take D3 mortal wounds. So you're very dead. Do you explode? No. Hmm. I think that's your fourth for them. Well, let's check. And there we go, people. Vanquisher Cannon. When it works, it works. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit of a waste on a five wound drone. Well, if granted. You killed the drone, but but ordered it dead. I did a wound on them. I did a wound on your commissar, giving him one wound left. And a wound on, on the ball ground. Yeah, it blowing up was a bit annoying. Um, right, which means my gatekeeper is now free to fire at other things. Now, this ignores cover. So I could, I could blast your plague marines with it. Or I could try and chip off some more wounds off that crawl about there, you is see. It, is it two more and it's bracketed? And that's I'm going for those plague marines. Why? With Are you scared from of them? No, it's minus three AP, ignores cover, and it's flat three damage. Are you scared of them? No, I just want to get rid of as many of them as possible and the Borgans can piss them off. You're so scared about plague marines, everyone's always like... Rrr, no, because I know, they, they, they are your most deadly <laughs> unit on the charge. <laughs> <laughs> they are literally... My absolute best. I was gutted when they didn't get on that charge. Your ball was like, well, they're dead now because they've had to kill them. Yeah, I actually know what they can do. Yeah. Because I use plague marines myself. <laughs> <laughs> I've played left guard for three years. Uh, yes. Uh, so everything from my tank commander here shooting your plague marines. So it's six plus D three shots with gatekeeper. Oh well, actually, come on! Oh, and you got one in a wound, haven't you? Shoot the heavy bolts first. Hold on. That doesn't count. Got to reroll that. Yeah, I'll, I'll reroll that in a minute. That's fine. <laughs> uh, so six heavy bolts hit on fours, but rerolling ones. It's the ordering himself too. And then he's going to move you on fours. That's a minus one, but I do ignore cover. So you, it's actually three ups, so it's not two ups. Because well, that tank ignores one. cover. Yeah, so you ignore the AP one. So, so they just get their three up save, not two up. Ah. So I ignore their cover. Damn it! I'll Are you going to waste the shot? Well, I'll shoot the last cannon into the Garner wound. There you go. So that's okay. minus three. So, and, and you don't get cover. So because my, so you still make the save. Yeah. <laughs> right. Fine. Gatekeeper. <laughs> Do you like that? So it's going to be six, eight shots. You rolled a six. Take, take your shots. Well, it's, only it's, it's only difference of one shot. It's six oh, plus D three. Right. So I'll, I'll take the two. It's fine. Eight shots. Hit on threes. We all in ones. Oh, that's better. Oh jeez. And it's strength nine, so freeze. freeze. Oh, jeez. So minus three, and I ignore cover, so five up saves. Six five up saves, every fail minus is a three dead guy. Minus two, so it's five up, yeah. Yeah, five ups, you fail, you're dead. That mm. is five dead plague marines. You see P in one? Yeah. Still five dead plague marines. Yeah. Boom! That's half the unit. Yeah. Alright. That will be a dead unit. The best gun in the codex, people, is Gatekeeper. Close, oh, closely, fo marines, closely yeah. followed by the execution of plasma cannon because it's no. essentially like gatekeeper. No, the best gun in the entire game, heavy blight launcher, is the marine killer. I'm talking about guard codex. Oh, right, no yeah. one cares about the death guard codex today. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you're you're just the resilient test to see what the guard firepower can do. And so yeah. far, you're doing all right. To be fair, in terms of being resilient, I mean, you're not killing much. Oh no. Oh, you killed a tank. Yeah, you're not doing too bad, actually. I've, um, my death pile's bigger than yours. I've still got two minutes to come in. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. So, uh, no, that's all the shots from him done, though, isn't it? So that's yeah. all my guns from over here done. I've killed half it's your plague marines. I've charge. killed your drone. And that's about it. So, yeah, charges. Let's charge the Borgrins into those plague marines. Well, I don't think they're going to do very much, but it's, it's clobbering time. In they go. They're in. Right, it's clobber in time. The Borgans have gone in. Yeah. Uh, my Chimera is now going to charge your crawler over here, and you've done your inerexable strat. So minus two to my charge. Some points that it goes off which I'm getting points. plus one a charge, so in the end I'm getting minus one. Yeah. So it's a nine inch charge. Yeah. Don't make the charge, I haven't got any CP. Okay. Quite right. My Chimera over there is now going to charge your Plague Burst crawler over there. Okay. It's a ten inch charge because it's difficult ground. No. Okay. Well, that, 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 well, that, it looks as though I'm not getting behind enemy lines. So let's let's smack some plague greens with some ball greens. Yeah. Right, ball greens. Let's clobber some plague greens. Uh, as we mentioned, they're obviously on the ground floor. Uh, some hit on freeze with many attacks. Uh, or I'm missing with ones and twos. <laughs> oh, he's really weirdly cocked, isn't it? Nobody oh. likes a weird cock. <laughs> <laughs> hit this many times. I'm the strength six or seven or something, so I'm winning you on freeze. Because you didn't get Patricent off either, did you? Which is a shame. Uh, so four, eight, nine, three up saves, because it's minus one big armor of contempt. 
And it's two damage, but Plague Marines, so one damage. So nine free ups. So one dead, dead. two more dead. dead. So you've got three Plague Marines left. Oh, you know what that means, don't you? Well, morale's definitely going to be a thing, because you've only got one CP left now. Oh, you didn't think about that, did you? <laughs> didn't think about oh, that. Oh, oh, oh. About your guys going down. Oh, they're not going anywhere except for downtown. Going downtown. Do, 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 do. Right, Plague Marines hitting Bulgrin's back. Here we go. What have we got? Axes. Axes. Well, axe. Well, you kept both your axes. You kept just one flail. Hitting oh, on. because on minus one damage, there's no point in the flails, is there? Yeah. yeah the axes fact. are better. Yeah. yeah. Alright. So, hit them falls because you minus one hit. Yep, we only once because of my lord. Yep. There you go. A1. We didn't convert. You've hit me twice. Congratulations, sir. I'll go down to toughness four, so you will win on two. It's like that. They're minus three, aren't they? No, it'd be four, because my lord. Yes, because he's now got a six-inch contagion, because he, he, he's, he's one turn ahead, effectively. So, yeah, so... Uh, whoops. Um, so, you're now minus four. So, yeah. sixes, yeah. Okay, so two d6, one after the other. So, the first one does... Oh, gosh. So that, that kills one, and then that kills one. So kill, kill two Bulgrins. Yeah. That's not very nice. No. 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 But I'm objective secure, and I do still outnumber you. But you do have your flail, so off you go. Hit on freeze, you're rolling ones. Just as well. And then this is strength five, but I'm going to have toughness four. So freeze. Rewalling ones. Rewalling ones. So three at minus three now, because of your ferric blight. So five ups. And each one is one damage because it's two damage becomes one damage. You killed another Bulgrin. Nice how it all worked out. Yeah, interesting. So we're both on the same amount of people. But morale is definitely a thing. Did you suffer morale? You lost three out of six. I lost three out of six. I'll work that out in a minute. Let's take yours first. So unless you roll a one, I think you're going to run away because you lost seven. Well, well, one's definitely ran off and then two two. dice on ones they run as well. So you've got (laughs) one Plague Marine left. Yeah, that's So let's roll my morale. Four plus three is seven. I think I'm using eight. The, yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, okay. Cool. Um, so you've just got Gimli left with his axe there. So that's my objective because I made my guys upset with my commissar. So I have all the objectives except for one, which means you only get five primary points. But more importantly, I got my tempting target. And how many units did I kill in my turn? Was it just the drone in the end? Just the drone. Just the drone because I've held a couple of paper. So I've only got one for grinding down, which means if you kill a unit. I can't score, grind them down. Yes. Uh, do I keep behind enemy lines? That is the question. I'll have a think. You'll do your commander movement phase, and we'll be back for Death Guard turn two. And here we are, ladies and gents. We are back for Death Guard turn two. Is that only turn two? Wow. Okay. Um, you got five primary points because you had your 50 pox walkers on one objective at <laughs> the back. Brilliant. It's working well for you. It has, um, it's been, it's I nicked this fun. one, and I nicked that one. My game. Is it? Well, have you taken that objective? It wasn't a move, it was a deployment. Have you, no, no. Have you got a Navy objective? No. Could you take my objective? No. Who uh, is winning on their home objective? Me. Well, I've also got mine, and I've also I got... got I, 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 to your home objective and you did to mine. But I've got every other objective on the field. For now. For um, now. Anyway, so, so in terms of objectives and things, yeah. you still got everyone firing blood and guts, and then you've got assassination, which is a good one for you at the moment, because Mr. Commissar here... He's on one wound. Wherever the hell he is, under there. Yeah, he's on There, he's got a wound left. So that, that's an easy kill, really. Yes. Um, yes. And then you dropped in both your terminators, you passed your dice rolls for delayed reserves. So Called you... out my marine, advanced my plague caster, got a CP on my tally man. And you moved your rhino. Put in some, some, some successful things because of the mission secondary thing. So I had to roll for my terminators, they both came in on three ups, which is good. Uh, actually, I actually rolled all five, which is great. Um, yeah, best rolls all game, really. Yeah, it was yeah. fantastic. Yeah. Um, my rider's <laughs> moved forward. My lot of contagions come around. Um, come around. I like that because he's come around. Well, he's um, a bit round, isn't he? Yeah, he has. Yeah. He's got a Hulk in physique. <laughs> yeah. Although he hasn't this game. No. He's got a ferret blind. Yeah. And your playcast is there. So, yeah, you're sort of pushing things towards him. You put both your terminators down here because it was either you put them there or you put them there. Yeah. Or you put them all the way back here. Because yeah. I had screened out all of this area and all of this area. And I basically, I screwed up. I screwed up most of the board, yeah, apart yeah. from your own deployment zone or, or that corner over there. It's true. So, what I'm going to do now? The second phase. Oh, you go for it. I'm going to do cursor with that. That's not very nice. Into your yeah, because you can see me. That's, that's, that's a fail. Off. That's I'm a gonna, shame. I'm going to attempt to CP it. Okay. That goes off. Okay. You can't deny it. Well, I'll take uh, a mortal take wound a due to um, personal fallout. Yep. Yeah. And then. What's their toughness normally? 
Five rooms, it's four now, so, so you've got, so you got to get fives. Which is quite a few. Well, three actually. It's, it's, it's on five up to seven dice. Not bad, few. is it? Not bad, not bad. Yeah. So you, um, you've killed a ball win and put one down to two wounds. Okay. Good, and now I'm going to do a smite. A well, smitey muck smite smite. Five. Which does then, go off. So oh, that's, that's a mortal wound. And then D3. D3. For one more, which kills the other guy. So I've got one bulk enough, which is almost perfect, because you've got overwhelming firepower and bloody guts, so you can finish them off with guns or combat, and you get points. It's, 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 it's a beautiful it's, thing. It's, it's, um, yeah, it's very beautiful for Death Guard. Gorgeous. Normally really. very disgusting and resilient. And they're... Filthy gorgeous. You're gorgeous. Um, yeah. anyway, very nasty. Uh, yeah. Shooting face, sir. I'm going to shoot all my guys here into them. Okay. Tommy Hart was into Guardsman. Thank you. What do you know, dear? Either way, you know they're dying, whether it be in combat or yeah, shooting, they're dying. There is that. I'll just be soft, softening up like butter. Uh, two is because of contagion yeah. range, so eight. Eight goes through. No AP. No AP, though. Because they're not within my lord range. Oh, I've got a few in cover, though, so start off with four ups. Four up. Four up. Five ups. So three, four, five dead. Yeah. Okay. I mean, they're going to die regardless, so I don't really care. Yeah. Yeah. They're going to die anyway. Oh, there's another guy. Right. Five dead. Right. <clears throat> what is that? Okay, um, other guns. Other guns. Other guns. Other guns. Right, now I'm going to put in my... um going to put in my... I'm going to put my gun from him over there. Cause there's no, no the rhino? Yeah, now the rhino's going to shoot in and kill Commissar and Yarek in the shooting. Well, that's not very nice. Not Yarek, they can kill Commissar because... Because you can do. He's a thing because of my lord and yeah. I think it'd be really funny to take him up a character with the rhino. So, you, you, four shots from the Commie Bar. Uh, well, is that a rapid fire range? You'll get two shots okay, from there. Okay, so that's enough. Yeah. You're free. Okay, so you get a hit. Uh, I'll be tough as two from that range. There you go. AP one. Fire up. No. Fine. <laughs> I've got a, I can't use one, though. <clears throat> havoc launcher. Oh, no. You're gonna death by Havoc launcher. I hope so. You're going to wreak some Havoc. Yeah, that's right. Five. Yeah, we're going to win on twos. Five ups. You. you killed Commissar by Havoc launcher. <laughs> Never mind, <I'm> Osiris. <laughs> now, that is ultimate right. humiliation. That's over my firepower completed. It is. Five points. Rhino's got you five points there. Well done, Rhino. And Never Assassinate knows. as well. Because and Assassinate got you ten points. The Rhino has got you ten points. Yeah, it's your I'm... MVP at the moment. You only had yeah. five points before that. <laughs> so I'm going to shoot that tank there. Okay. Into that tank there. That's nice. Go for it. I've got the TP, um, so yeah, I've I'm run out of gonna, smoke. I'm going to do a disgusting force on it. Am I? Are you? I don't know. No. No. Are you not? No. no? Okay. If the cannons freeze, I hit once. That's nice. I'm tough as eight. You reel the one. Nice. That's nice. Six, six up. Oh, you sly devil. <laughs> six shots. Six shots. I should have done, oh, done disgusting force. Dear, 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 dear. Right, uh, winning on fours. Winning on ones. Three. AP two. two. So, fours. Stop it. Make it all the saves. Oh. Who needs armour of contempt, eh? Day. Oh, <laughs> Not <dear>. me. <laughs> right. Volley gun. Do your volley go, enough three shots. Do it. Hit three times at fives. Oh, cheeky. Two. Three ups. Ah, uh, almost. Uh, <laughs> right, next up, I'm going to do... Um, I'll put the other tank, everything, into the same one. And this one with Disgusting Force. That tank's shooting as well, is it? Yeah. You're doing Disgusting Force with flat three damage on the mortar. Okay, what are you starting with? Uh, the Entrepreneurs. Weapons. So you've hit once. You see, oh, you see P in there. Yeah. It's funny if you only get one shot with the mortar now, wouldn't it? Force to remove the entry cannons. Let's go through. Six up saves. Just need box cars and everyone's happy. Nope. <laughs> Double twos. Okay, so two lots of D3 plus three damage. That is then boss of damage. So six, six plus five. five. So we've got two wins left so far. Well, I didn't need the disgusting force here, did I? Well. <laughs> Never mind. No. <laughs> D6 shots. <laughs> For five though, that's oh, good though. Yeah. It's, it's going to be disgusting with lots of force. Hit on threes. Mm -hmm. And then moving on fours. Rolling on the one. Go through. Four up save or death. 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 Boom! Uh, this is blow up. No. You've got to, you, you sunk my battleship. Or, 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 or battleship. you sunk my battle tank. <laughs> I did shoot your battle tank. Well done. 
Take my scores have actually done something. I've got two units of uh, guys over there. So, oh, your terminators. Yeah, so look at some. They're, they're going to shoot the chimera, are they? Um, yeah. There's not the, well, there's this chimera or there's that chimera. That one's behind. That one's behind trees from some of them. Mm. Well, I'll let you count some dice and figure out what you want to do, and then we'll do it off camera. Because let's face it, bolt was against chimeras. Not much is going to happen. Right, we're back. All the combi bolts fired into the chimera. You hit really well, and you wounded really well. I lost, yeah. I lost, I lost some wounds. I've got seven wounds left on my team. Four wounds off because they have eleven wounds now. Yeah, which is nice. Yeah, that's what they because, have. because why not? Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. So charge phase. Uh, okay. We're gonna shoot anything else, I think. Over here, they're charging them, and. They're in. Oh, look, they made it. You know what? I'm just going to pick them up. They're but... dead. They're dead. There's no way they survived this. They're dead. They're so dead. you can just do your pile in the console lakes or whatever I'll do. They're dead. They're dead. They're dead. So that's another one for blooding guts, at least. Yeah. And then okay. next up, I will charge in my unit over there. Right on side. I don't suffer difficult round, so it would just be a nice charge into your chimera. Oh, you're charging the chimera? Yep. Okay. Oh, and you're going to CP. That's a shame. Oh, I, I'm not using them. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I had to use this turn. Uh, <laughs> well, we're both all out of CP that, now. So that, come, that tank, uh, my, my, my tank into your... The uh, Rhino into the Chimera? Yeah. Okay, well he makes it. Yeah. Okay, all right, we'll move him in a second. Did your Lord of Contagion want to charge the Bulgrin, I guess? After that, first of all, I'm going to put those Terminators into the Bulgrin. Okay. Nine. No, no, they're not. And then I'm going to put in the... They go spawn into the Chimera? No, I don't know what you're like. I'm going to tag, I'm going to charge... Well, no, because they, no, they've just charged and killed oh, the guardsmen that were there. Yes, yes. I'll just pick them up to save everyone, everyone watching the pointless dice rolling of a flare and loads of axes murdering some humans. I'm going to put that unit into them. as a nine-inch charge. Well, they just tried to charge the ball ground. Did they? Yes. You failed it. Oh. So it's literally Lord of Contagion when you play Burst Crawler now. That's what you got there. Lord of Contagion into, my, into the ball ground. Oh, look. Oh, oh, look, he's in. But he's got a really big charge. He needs to be sensible. In the you can out. hide him around the other room. We've yeah. still got to be an inch of the ball ground. But he's going there, okay. Cool. What are you doing? Getting him close enough to there. But so you can, yeah. 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 Right. Um, right. And obviously, your rhino made it in. I am there. Uh, no, he's a double model boy. Don't do it. And you've got that way. Okay. Right. <laughs> yes. Move so, blocking. Yeah. Yes, minus two for whatever you want to do now. So, yes. Yeah. Okay, um, cool. Right. Did you want to charge your Plague Boss Crawler into something? No, because no? I'd rather overwatch you when you try coming into me. Okay, cool. Place. So you've done all your charges. You've killed the Guardsman, that happened. Um, yeah. Lord of Contagion to Borgren. Yeah. We'll get that on camera because he might actually fluff, you never know. <laughs> <laughs> Six stacks, single on twos. There you go, he's already missed twice. <laughs> Reading on twos though, because of Contagions. Oh Re my Rerolling gosh. ones, that's lucky, isn't it? There you so go, four, four go for an 84. Uh, so sixes. Do I get four sixes? Don't. But I only need to get. I need to get three. Because I'm minus one damage. Do I get three sixes? No, he's dead. You, you didn't. Um, and we could roll for the guardsman, but like, just do the six flare attacks. That'd be enough to kill them, just to satisfy the people. Oh them. yeah, because they're like, you didn't kill his guardsman. Well, look. Um, well, you haven't with the flail. <laughs> oh, no. okay. But they, that's going to kill on twos. So that's right, three of them dead already. Dead. And, and then, then you got two, two guardsmen four. with the rest of them. Great. Just for sake of argument, if someone says, why did you pick them up? This is why, because five bite lords can go through five guardsmen like a hot knife through, through butter. Who wants those? And they're all minus two. They're all dead. Right. So, what do you call now, that's right. the swap? That's the unit that we're over here now. Now dead. Yeah. So. Uh, Rhino into Chimera. Uh, yeah. Three, three, three attacks, sir. Yeah. Hitting sixes. Oh, yeah, I got hit. <laughs> I got hit. Uh, and you're winning on a... F I got yeah. that hit. Get one. Hey, rhino, when, you, when you drove into a tank, it should damage it, shouldn't it? <laughs> it's a rhino, not a chihuahua. But I've now got as many it's... wounds as your rhino started with. Who <laughs> 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 wants to bet when the, uh, the new codex has come out for space wounds, rhinos will get more wounds? Um, I don't think they will. I, think they're going I reckon to they'll go up to 11, the same as chimeras. I, I don't reckon. think they will. I think they're going to get well, chimeras something. are a bit bigger, though, to be fair, aren't they? I think they get extra movement. Mm, I think Vino's going to get increased movement. You're going to get extra uh, the toughness mm. on yours. I think the the Vino itself, the Chaos Sands, uh, Chaos Sands for and for the Marines. I think I'll get like a fourteen inch move. Okay, I'll get faster. The, the Luppet, yeah, well, I think so. Maybe, or, or maybe, or maybe like an Auto Six Advance or something uh, weird like that. Something that I think it'll be something with their movement because Marines are slow. They're very slow, so unless you're they, bloody they jewels. <laughs> but yeah, okay, all right. Well, that's the end of your turn then. A max point. I'll, I'll get to hit you with my Chimera. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, yeah. never mind. Um, 
But you did get Blood and Guts over in Fight Fire and Assassinate. You got 15 secondary points. Well done you. Well done you. My, so you got the 20 points to my 25 as we go to Imperial Guard. Turn three. Right, Guard, turn three. 10 primary points. Home objective and the one over there. Um, so I'm in the lead now, 35 to 20 points. Uh, four objectives and things. I've got Assassinate now. Kill a character. Well, Gump's a character. Let's kill Gump. Behind enemy lines. That's easy. Investigate site. Possible, but can't be bothered, so I don't bother. Um, command phase, platoon, command squad, ordered, both infantry squads to move, move, move. One's jumped up there, the other one's advanced whoosh, over there. So when you move, 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 now you can either add two inches to their move or just do a flat six inch advance. And because I'm getting plus one to my move anyway, that means that they moved 13 inches. And now they're within range of that objective and out of her intervention range, so that's now my objective as well. On you, primary points and things, and things. So that's what happened over here. Uh, tank commander told himself to roll once to hit because of his wall of trait thing, which also bounced to the vanquisher. And I put the invulnerable save on the vanquisher, uh, with the tech priest who's here over here. Kamira rumbled up to here, he's not in the room, but he just rumbled up to there. This Kamira fell back forwards, uh, and I walked the center not to your rhino just to get in the way of your rhino because I can move block too. Yeah. But my move bucking actually did something whereas yours didn't. I just drove through the trees. Do you know what I did? What? I took a wound off it in combat. You did take a wound off my career in combat. Congratulations. I will find you a medal. Did yours take a wound off mine in combat? No. I don't no, care. exactly. So mine did more than yours didn't it? That's fine. Just yeah, that's well, whatever. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, you say that but mine still has guys in it. Yeah, you, so you made a massive boo-boo of yours though. Have I? A big boo-boo. Have I? A big, big boo-boo. Have I? Yes. Yeah, we'll, we'll see about that. We'll see you next time. Um, and this Camaro here he just... came too close. Did he? You came too close. I told you, don't come don't come to my section of the board. And you, I'm, you, you I'm driving all over the place. I'm having a great I, time. I say, like, this this, this Camaro has driven over here. Behind, I've got behind him lines with a Camaro in turn three. That's how fast the guard tanks are now. We're swift as the wind. So that's easy peasy. What? I can get behind him lines in turn two. It's called deep strike. Yeah, I'll squeeze you out, so... <laughs> um, so, yeah, so, so let's go straight into the shooting phase. So that Chimera just moved. It didn't do anything advancing or anything, so I didn't need to. So I'm just going to shoot at... Well, there's a... Blob, what, what is going on with these Poxwalker units here? I've got a squad of 20 going on there. Okay, and what about these other units? What are they? There should be a squad of 10 in here and a squad of 20 behind. So 20 here. 10 inside, 20 going down. 20 around there like that. Did I say it like that? I, I don't know. I don't know what you've done. I jumbled up. I think there's a 10 and 20 there. I think I might have jumbled them up. And, but I'm declaring that as a 20 because that's what I... I you I, know what? Just to make things easier because this is just ridiculous. I'm just going to shoot your crawler. Because <laughs> <laughs> I can't be bothered. I didn't expect to target 50 porks walkers so I never needed them. So 12 shots for the Lazgan array because I can shoot them even when there's no one in the tank anymore. Because now it's just a gum that the tank What's has. What's shooting into, sorry? Everything into the crawler that's next to it. Okay. So hit them falls for the Lazguns. Yeah, I'm gonna be winning on six. Gonna be winning on sixes, but I'll, I'll be winning pots, walkers, and fives anyway. What difference does it make? There you go. One free up on your crawler. Ah, oh. no. Mark with laser. Hit on freeze. Oh, oh, oh. Hit, hit on freeze now. Didn't win though. No. Um, the heaviest of bolsters. <laughs> and five to wound. No. Okay. Uh. How does that work out for you, Kim? Yeah, it doesn't work out very well. I still think... Um, I'll do. Maybe I should go back to having born soldiers and just also win things on sixes. It just, no, it just works right. better, doesn't it? Your six is th I can see why you can only have that and no other traits rather yeah. than two of the other ones. Yeah. Uh, he fell back, he can't shoot. Sentinel, let's just flame a rhino because why not? Why? Could, is it a cool one? D6 shots. Three. I've hit you three times. I'll win you on fives. Five. Not like that. <laughs> uh, they've advanced these guys just ran up there and can't really see much yeah. actually I've got a crack missile let's shoot a crack missile into that rhino over there I'll hit one of five because he moved missed brilliant can you pause quickly right we're back Andy just told me a hilarious joke uh, <laughs> right. it, was good. it was really good um, any other guns fell back can't see anything so it's just, <laughs> just the tanks now pull yourself together man uh, right, I'm going to shoot some guns, and I'm going to shoot 
Right, van- <laughs> vanquish it, vanquish it, cannon. No, I can't see that tank over there now, can I? Can you hear what it's taking? Oh, I can, yeah. Not bring out the dinosaur. Don't you dare bring out the dinosaur. <laughs> vanquish your cannon into your plague burst crawler. And the last cannon. Two heavy bolters, plague marine. Can you see? I've lined it all up so I can see things, yeah. Can just about see his base. So, suck the heavy bolters into the plague marine, get that out of the way, hit on fours, rerolling ones because of the order. Might as well, yeah. Okay. Uh, winning on fours, because tough as five. Two free up saves when you play Marine. He's lost a wound because of minus one damage. He's touching as well, so actually that, that... Is he? Yeah, he's touching, so we would actually save it. No, fine. Screw Yeah. Uh, Vanquish your cannon into your Plague Burst Crawler. You are behind Dense Cover, so I'm hitting you on a four. You are. Not I'm re-rolling ones because like of the order. Oh, Ow, the Dense Cover it. did something. I love it when I crawl it. Last cannon into it. Never. We roll the one. No. Misses. <laughs> this is why Vanquish Cannons are not going to be in competitive lists. No, they're not. It's just it's too swingy. It's going to be all about Gatekeeper and Excusure Plasma Cannons. That's yes. what it's going to be about. Uh, uh, more, more of the plasmas, I think. Intrigued. Well, I still want Gatekeeper, because it's got more than 13 inch range. Oh, okay. And, so and, you, and you can't okay. supercharge a mortal wound yourself. If you're going for a guardless that's going to sit at the back and shoot your opponent, then you're going to be taking Gatekeeper. If you're one that well, that's a relic, so you can only have one of those. So you have one of those on your oh, tank commander, and then all the rest you put the plasma cannons. Yeah, and seven and four to, to yeah. blow things up. Uh, oh, I still want that Plague Moon dead, but he's in cover. What's the damage characteristic on the new one, on the, on the plasma? Uh, well, you can supercharge it and make it free damage. So if you supercharge it, it's essentially the same as this. Right. But you're Except for then you do mortal wounds to yourself. Right. So yeah. You're going to get one. Uh, well, he ignores cover, doesn't he? <laughs> so let's put... Uh, let's put the gatekeeper into Lord of Contagion. I can, I can see. I've lined it up. Because the front corner of my tank's here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's put gatekeeper into Lord of Contagion. The heavy bottles on the last cannon to the plague ring. Okay. Gatekeeper into my Lord of Contagion. Let's suck the heavy bottles into your plague ring. So hit on fours. Rewind on ones. No. So you hit on threes with tank commanders. It's brilliant, but I can't anymore. Uh, winning on fours. And these will be free up saves because this tank ignores cover. So he now he loses a wound. And we've got the last cannon, which misses. So you play means left alive on a wound. Good, you've got nothing to shoot them. No. I'll take it. Well, I've got Gatekeeper into your dude for oh, seven shots. Yeah, oh, good. I like that. Have you you thought that was my shot, didn't you? I did. I, did. <laughs> I was like, yeah, you're right. Six plus D3. So hit on freeze. You want it once. Mm, just concerned. Strength nine. T five. Um. Hmm. Two invulnerable saves. It's minus three. Oh, I ignore cover. You fine? Um, I just tanked a tank. You've, you've tanked just, a tank. I just tanked the tank, like the best tank in your codex right now. Well, not the best. I just tanked best. it with a with a four up invulnerable. Yeah. I mean, I could have shot the Vanquisher at your Lord of Contagion because he ignores invulnerable saves and you just would have killed him just flat out right. But, you didn't. but I wanted to try and kill your tank because I was yeah. getting greedy. You yeah. see? So, you know what happened is you tried twice and failed twice. Yeah, yeah. People, don't put Vanquishers in your list. <laughs> Complete <laughs> waste of time. <laughs> that did not I mean, go well I mean you me. can, but take three of them because one, one of them might actually you, hit. You would have got assassinate, you would have got behind. And you well, I've got behind anyways. Yeah, but you would have got ten points, not just five. And yeah. And it's sight. Are you can... doing that? No. No? Could be bothered. Now they're all going to die now. You know that, don't you? Well, if they do, then they do. But it's ninety points. Yeah. Um, right. right. Any more shooting? Right. That's it for shooting. Uh, oh, no. Charges and things. I'm going to charge my sentinel into your rhino. Yeah, yeah, who didn't see him <laughs> on coming day? In he goes. <laughs> and then he gets. You're going to charge this guy. Oh no, he can't. Oh, you can. can. Yeah, he can charge. He's going to charge the Pegasus crawler. You not going to overwatch? You've got ACP. Did you want it? I'm in. Uh, actually, you know, I am going to overwatch it because. No, I'm not. It's your last kidding. CP, Andy. Don't want to it's your last you. CP. It'll uh, deny you points, actually, if I do kill you. Well, I mean, I won't kill you, but you never know. It will deny me points. You're doing it. Yeah. Okay. A cannons. Yeah! <laughs> A hit, okay. A wound! A D4. Go straight through. D3 plus 3. Do 6. It's done 6! Okay! You in trouble now. D6 on the water. You shouldn't have, you shouldn't have made me do it. <laughs> For three. That's no, wrong. If you do it, you do it. It's fine. No! Oh, got a hit. Got a hit. I'm going to kill you in Everwatch. <laughs> oh, please. <laughs>
command point. <laughs> I'm oh, fine. I'm lucky. Okay, I've got uh, I'm up on six shots gun. for the volley gun. You could still do oh, it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Contagion as well because now you're talking to six. So yeah, yeah. Be, we, we're just trying to hit me first. No. Oh, oh. Must it was so close I'm, and yet so I, far. I wish, I wish, but, I wish that had gone through. I mean, you can still come in combat. Yeah, it's not over yet. <laughs> My chimera will hit you and miss. My sentinel will hit your rhino and hits and wounds. Uh, no, it doesn't wound, rather, yet. Yeah. Your crawler will try and hit my rhino and oh. uh, misses, unfortunately. And your, ri- your rhino can hit my sentinel? Yeah. You hit it once? Yeah. Cheeky, 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 mm-hmm. cheeky. cheeky. Yeah. I'm fine. Yeah. And if anyone's wondering why you didn't hurt Clean Devine, it's because I'm more than three inches away because yeah. I measured it because I'm clever like that. You are clever like that. Um, yeah, part of it. <laughs> I mean, it was risky doing it because of behind enemy lines, but I also just wanted to tight one of your tanks. Yeah. So, this is fine. If I could have killed it, if one shot had just gone through on that mortar. That yeah. Was, that yeah. Well, I just CP the saving throw. Yeah, yeah. So now I'm back to having zero CP. Which is the same as you. Well, yeah, but I'll get a CP now and I'll another CP if I see a man Yeah, but I will get behind enemy lines. So that's five points. No. Uh, I'll keep assassinate and I'll ditch investigate Sonic. Because I will kill Gump, even if I have to shoot a vanquisher cannon at him. I, I will kill him. <laughs> I know. Uh, <laughs> I, I will know. So we're going to Death turn, where you control two objectives and get ten points. You got five this time? I got five, I got five yes. So we'll work out some points, and we'll be back for Death Guard turn three. Right, we're back. Death Guard turn three. So you have ten primary points, and your objectives are now capture enemy outpost. Yeah. Storm a hostile objective, and have Perfect. battlefield supremacy. Yeah. So basically... Nick the subjective, good luck with that. Nick one of the objectives I control, so that one is the easiest one, and then control for objectives. So essentially, if you nick that one, you get 10 points. Getting this one is, well, let's face it, impossible. Um, and you did spend a CP to get rid of the teleport hammer as well. Yeah, because it's equally as bad as having captured Ca- in the post. Yes, yes. Yeah. But, but I'd be lucky I can you, got, you got an easy 10 points if you kill some guardsmen, which, yeah. which, is, which is not to be sniffed at. But yeah, okay. Uh, movement phase, you, you, you've fell back with your rhino, you've fallen back onto the centre objective. You move some terminators and things around a little bit, and you've moved your Lord of Contagion Plague Marine forwards a little bit, and that's about it, really. Oh, your Plaguecasters run over there. Yeah. Yeah, that's about Please. it. Yeah, okay. Because he wants to basically go and do more, more wounds. So I'm going to, I'm going to, play, I'm going to cast the power, right? I'm going to cast the power called Magic Pestilence, and it's six. I'm okay. Going to, I'm going to put that on my terminators. Okay. It goes off. goes off, yeah. And, um... No Pestilence 4, though. No pestilence wasn't, wasn't, wasn't at least a seven? seven wasn't it? At least you've got minus one your terminators, and I'm assuming it's on these terminators here. It is. Okay. And now I'm going to cast a projectile vitality on them. Okay. I don't want to. Oh, I might just do a smite. I'll do a smite just, be just, just to it. guarantee it's done. Yeah, but you're still going to hit. I thought I'll hit the other guy anyway, so. There you go. No. And you felt that, and you haven't got any CP. So my Chimera is still there, which means that tank will have to shoot that Chimera. How annoying that is. It's, I, I imagine it's, it's very annoying. annoying. Yes, like, yes. And you put guns, I don't suffer penalties because. You do actually, because it's not before like a Stances. Oh, but you've hit once, point. and you're wounded on a. Not that, but you can reroll that into. Oh. Right. Volley gun! Uh, falls to wound. Shoot down now. There you go. Three. AP Four one. up saves. Go on. Bye now. Oh, we just about killed it. I got this. Does it blow up? Go on. No. Kill the Chimera. Okay. But but it stopped your tank doing other things for a turn. I didn't kill the mortar, did I? That was silly of me. No. Never mind. Never mind. No, right, you didn't. This tank here will shoot everything into that one there. That Chimera in front of it. Okay. Yeah. Alright then. Just for now. Um, yeah. Okay. So, the edge becomes. First miss. miss. That was good. Water. Oh, that might do something. Got those don't count. And you read it on, well, freeze, because, yeah. We got the ones. Free! Uh, five up saves. So, oh, it takes two damages. You take two damages? Two damages. damages. Two damages. Two damages? Oh my. So, down to eight. Corn wants it, and there's still guys in this career, as well as in this one, people don't forget. So, I've still got plenty of infantry around. You do. So, yeah. haha. Yeah. Yes, right. okay, so actually, actually big guns fired. Yes. Now, next up, I'm going to do my, um, yeah. I'm going to, no, no. We'll shoot with your terminators now, and that's literally it. Is that it? 
can because I just put the rhino in the way. <laughs> you put the rhino in front of the line of sight. I can still get. Yeah, you can still. Someone can still suit yeah. you. Okay. <laughs> it was great to put the rhino there. Just put the rhino in the jetlin. Oh, it's in the way of the terminators. They've all hit though. I'll have a right. for it. Yeah. more averages. Um, uh, Contagion, so you win on twos. Oh, eight. AP1. Uh, oh, yeah, it's a threat <laughs> I so, love Fight Flight, it's so handy. It's really good, it's a good place. So good. So we lost seven guys. Oh, wow. Okay. okay. Well, that, wasn't, that wasn't even that many bolters, was it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh dear, dear, dear. So, so I've got a Sergeant and a Vox caster left. Brilliant. Right, same. Uh, okay. Right. Next up, I will do. Um, what will you do? I will shoot all my terminators in that room over there. The you, mean, you mean the trees, right? <laughs> I, meant exactly I mean, it'll be a room once you finish with it. Yeah. You'd like the terminators walking through it. What, what, what are they shooting at? Uh, into the, uh, the, the the silly thing with the, the saw mouth. Yeah. The, the, the skentinel. The skentinel, yeah. The scout sentinel, they're called skentinels. Yeah, yeah, hit them freeze. Uh, toughness, well, it's five either way, isn't it? Even if we go to toughness five. Toughness six sentinels with seven wounds is really good. For 45 oh. points. <laughs> you get a four up save, seven brilliant, wounds, and toughness cool. six. It's brilliant and very quick. And they look cool. They just look cool. They're actually like Star Wars models. Two wounds. Two wounds. I'll take that. Yeah, they're like little all terrain scout transports. Uh, oh, he hasn't lost it. ATSTs, what they're called. Yeah. All terrain scout transports. ATST. That's what it stands for. Yeah. What's the big camera on the ATST? All terrain armored transport. That's the one. Yeah, at at. I, love, I love your Star Wars knowledge, mate. I love, I'm, I'm a massive Star Wars fan. <laughs> anyway. Um, I think yeah, that's, I think that's all your guns, isn't it, really? When you watch Kevin and Perry. Oh, and God. now And now when you watch that film, you see, all I want to do is do it. <laughs> that's, do, that's it. That's, do it. Do <laughs> it. Anyway, um, I think that's all your guns, isn't it, yeah, really? That's pretty much all my guns. Charges? So, yeah. I'll be, be charging the... I don't even know what probably, but... Oh, no, you can't. I'm going to see pink. I'll charge them over there. In that, uh, the, ter the Terminators. The Terminators into your Skentinel. Well, they're going to the Sentinel. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, they, well, they've made it. We'll move them in the moment. The Anything else? They're charging into the... Um, the Kamaira. Yeah. Very nice. Well, oh, look. They've made it. They're going 10 as well. They're both charging in. To, to, to the two First guardsmen. In, yeah. Second ones in. Yeah, they're both in. Cool. Um, and that's all my charges. All right, let's move things in. Right, we're back. Charges went in. Uh, you order contagion and your plague marine went for those two guardsmen, like a well, a, 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 a honey badger through someone's face. My, my, um, <laughs> so, so reason that was a big hole in the ground where the axe landed, and everything else got just just like, corroded. Just, yeah. Just so, so the two guardsmen there, well, they're dead. Yeah. Um, and you're starting now with what, what you're starting with, which terminator? Uh, I'll then the other sentinel. We've got sentinel. Flail attacks into a sentinel. Go. Hit on. Oh dear. We've hit twice. <laughs> Oh my. I'll get down to toughness five, so you win on fours. Six up. Nice, I'll take two damage from the flail. So three moves left. Can your axes do it? Do it. Can they do it? Do it. Do it, do it Anakin. Freeze to hit. Uh, it's true, I have got that. Well, you've got the high ground, so. I do have a high ground. I'm in a sentinel. Yeah. <laughs> I'll probably be quite low in a minute when you chop the legs off. Yeah. Uh, winning on three. Mm, we've rolling the ones. Didn't really help that much. No. <laughs> six. That's enough. EP two. Should be. Yeah. Enough. Six up saves because I don't have armor content anymore. Should be fine. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'll do that in a second. Does it go kaboom? No. Ooh, oh, nearly. 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 So that's one dead sentinel. You consolidate with them in a moment. Okay. And then the rest of the other guys over there hitting the chimera. So flail. Flail. Are you too far away from your lord? You're wounded on five. Can I go down to six? Two, oh. Oh. minus two, fives, four damage. Okay, so we've got four left. Nice. Nice, very nice. That's nice. Three, 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 four. That's <clears throat> uh, my axes. Mm. Threes. Oh dear. That's what I really wanted to see there. So these would be fours. Uh, so four. Four. It won't be enough to kill it. Why? If you found every single one at EP2. You did! Like that, you mean? Oh my um, god! Well, we killed it. That should never have happened. Doesn't blow up. Um, I've got 10 guys in there. That was incredible. 
How many die screaming? Three. Uh, Two, one. One. Because unlike you, my infantry actually know how to get out of yeah, tanks. Yeah, because I'm going to show you what happens in my world. Right? Eight. Well, every time eight. I've killed a run of plague means, like, half of them have died, haven't they? Well, I lost one as well, but no, I lose like seven. Yeah. <laughs> so, well, you did one time, that was funny. Anyway, so one dies, let's get out, let's sort all that nonsense out. Right, we're back, the tank got destroyed, uh, one of the guardsmen died, he got out, and then you decided to consolidate into the guardsmen. But no porkers were harmed during the making of this video. So it's well, not yet, none of, none, 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 none of them actually have been. <laughs> because this is back here to stay alive. I'm going to punch your terminators with some guardsmen, and they'll probably hurt their hands, to be honest, because <laughs> they've only hit you four times. <laughs> And I've only wounded you once, and you got to talk safe. And I've wounded a terminator. Oh, Hilarious. I've got him. Um, Betsy. So that is the end of the turn. You have battlefield supremacy, and you have stormed a hostile objective. So that's ten points to the Death Guard. So it's now forty points apiece. As we go into Astra Militarum, turn four. Okay, turn four for the Astra Militarum. I had two objectives, so I got ten points. This one here and this one here. Uh, in terms of objectives, I now have... Well, I've kept the assassinate, because I still want to kill that Lord Gumpy Boy. I've got Bring It Down, and you nominated that crawler there. Uh, and then I've got a Razor Banner. So I reckon I could do two of those. So this is what I've done. So I've told these chaps here to take aim. Um, I gave my Vanquisher a 5 plus invulnerable save before it drove off with my Tech Priest. And then these got ordered to be Obsec. That's what I ordered. Because I've now driven a tank onto that objective, it counts as five models, and it's objective secured now. So that's now my objective. Very nice. All right. Uh, over here, I needed to raise a banner. There's an objective there. So I've got all my Sirens and Strachan out of the Chimera. Strachan's raising the banner, but before he did that, when he got out of the Chimera, he told these chaps to take aim. So the Sirens are now going to be hitting on twos, with an extra AP as well, which is very nice. Cool. And they've all got out there. Uh, and then I've, I've, I've just parked the Chimera there, because... Oh, why not? Wow. Why did I put it there, actually? I don't know. I don't know either. No. Waste. I don't know why I did that. Do you want to change what you did? Yes, but not the Chimera. Right. That's what I wanted to do. I wanted to move Bucky with the Scions. There we go. Because then Strachan can hold the objective. Because none of my stuff here is obsec, so I can just stand in your way. You've got no way of nicking that objective. Unless you murder the Scions and plow through like a plow. Basically. <laughs> uh, but they've been ordered to take aim. Strachan's raising a banner, so that's five points. That's done. Now I need to figure out a way to assassinate, and I've parked the Vanquisher Cannon right next to Lord Gump. And he's the nearest target, so I can just shoot him in the face. So that's what I'm going to do. Did you try that last time? Hmm? Didn't you try that last time? No, that was Gatekeeper. The Vanquisher Cannon ignores invulnerable saves, it's AP5. Oh, yeah, You'll just be dead. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, then... Which is what I should have done last time, but I wanted to kill your tank, you see? And Lord Gump. Now I'm just going to kill Lord Gump. I've got a CP back. Get over. That's nice. I've got CP too. Um, let's shoot the heavy bolters into the Rhino. Um, and then the Vanquish Cannon and the last cannon to Lord Gump. Alright? Vanquish Cannon. I'm going to hit you on a three. Here we go. Here we go. It's a two. <laughs> you got a CP I'm there. CP in there. You want to get into a one? Of course I will. Because oh. it's the most stupid gun ever. Mm. Right. I'm winning you on a two. Strength 14. Don't do it. Okay. It's so AP 5. Ignores invulnerable saves. So you're dead. AP 4. AP, yeah. So, so I get a 2 up save. Oh, you would have a save. Oh, you can cover as well, so actually. I've got a 5 up save. Uh, AP 4. Oh, I know Armour of Contempt. Hang on. So AP 5 goes down to AP 4. No, 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 no. So my 2. And then. Goes up to 6. And then you can cover. It's AP 3 then. So you have 5 up. Yeah. Five, five up save. Five yeah. Mm -hmm. You failed it. Because you do have a CP. That's your CP gone. Okay, and now it's six plus D3 damage. Dead. He's dead. Oh, oh rah, the Vanquish kind of finally did something. <laughs> uh, you know, it, it took your CP and the Vanquish can to kill one more. You know what? I'm glad you did, mate, because that's the third unit you've killed this whole game. I know, it's not going very well. No. <laughs> God, they're OP people. No, they're really not. Um, no. no. But, but they are fun. They're, fun on they're still fun. They're just very different. And very different. People may moan about the Vanquish Cannon. I'd rather just have normal battle cannon. Because mm. um, more shots is a thing. Heavy um, bolters into the Rhino. You have played much stronger games of your previous army. Oh yeah. Uh, mm. Five to read your Rhino. Oh, yeah. Two threat saves on your Rhino. Nine. Takes two damage because it doesn't have muscle damage because it's a Rhino. So it's down to seven wounds. Let's take two damage. You haven't done many. Uh, right, okay. Now what's my gatekeeper boy ever going to do? 
Shoot the rhino. Do I though? Do I need to kill the rhino? That's the question. Do, horse, do? do I care? No. Or do I want to blow up some terminators? Yeah. I think that's the better option, yeah, isn't it, everybody? So let's blow up some terminators. <laughs> hey, well, is your plague green in the ruin? He is yeah. in the ruin. Can do. You, but, yeah. Well, he ignores cover, so you'll have three up saves with your plague marine. Mm. So let's put the two of your bottles into that one plague marine. Okay. Try and finish him off because he's obsec and he's in the middle of the board. And then, then, yeah. I think what I'll do is I might shoot those terminators. Okay. Cool. Because if I don't, they could potentially get in the middle of the board and they're obsec. I think these are too far away to get into the middle, and they're blocked there anyway. So let's shoot the heavy bottles into the Plague Marine, and let's shoot everything else into those Terminators there. Cool, buddy. And this is when the Plague Marine survives. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and falls with the heavy bolters. Oh, dear. Oh, uh, dear. See, sponsor weapons are completely pointless now. T5. I should just break all the sponsor weapons off, you know, and just save the points. T5. There we go. Um, <laughs> right. Shots into the Terminators, eh? I genuinely eh? feel dreadful for you. Oh, my God. Seven shots. I feel dreadful for you. Hit on freeze. Uh, nine, so freeze. Four, minus three. So four, four up saves. I've killed a Terminator because you minus one damage. And I've got Laz coming. Actually, no, one was already one, one two wounds. So he's dead. The one goes down to a wound. And the one goes down to a wound, yeah. So let's, let's, let's try and kill the guy on a wound with the last cannon, which hits. And wounds. Ooh, sixes, sixes. Why can't the Vanquisher cannon do that earlier? Yeah, <laughs> uh, four, four, yeah, yeah four up safe. Oh, you made it. Okay, so you got one on the wound. Okay. Right, fine. No, no, he's, he's, no, he's he, you made the save. He's what fine. Doing? I don't know what you're doing. Chicky. But what I am going to do now is this unit here. Is going to shoot a crap missile through the window right on that Terminator head. The first Terminator you've killed the entire game. Crap missile. It hits. It wounds. Uh, minus two. Plus minus one. No. Oh, he's fine. Is that the first Terminator I've killed all game? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay. It, wow. Wow. Game. Okay. Yeah. I think... You know, you know they said the planet broke before the guard did? I, I, I think the codex I'm broke before the gun. I'm, I'm very concerned about your codex. Oh dear. Maybe, maybe there's just. I was better with the 8th edition codex. You, but the thing is, it's changed. It's the, getting used to the difference. Yeah. Different. yeah. Yeah, exactly. It's right, good. okay. Now, there's a cool strat I can use from Assange, which is what? Oh no, I've just spent the CP on the Vanquisher cannon. Yeah. Damn it. Yeah, you fucked Damn up. it. <laughs> well, I, need, I needed to spend the CP to kill you for assassinate. Because oh, there's a CP sorry. you can use with Scions now. Where like wounds of, wounds of six do mortal wounds. There's a CP you could have used well, yes. for a six. But it's really wounds. cool because <laughs> the plan was this, right? The plan was this, so Go people on. know. Yeah. Got Strachan in the Chimera with, with the Scions, right? Yeah. They all get out. He then orders them to take aim. So then hit, hit, then, they're then hit on twos yeah. and they get an extra AP. Yeah. He allows them to reroll hit rolls of one. Right. So you hit on twos, you roll in once, right? Mm -hmm. And then you spend two CP on the Scions. Yeah. One so they can reroll wound rolls for getting out of a transport. And one for wound rolls of six to do mortal wounds. That's a lot of mortal wounds dishing out from a bunch of scions. Well, After uh, they've done it, they're then dead because there's still only ten scions, but still. The first problem you had was... I didn't have the CP. There was no CP. And the second problem you had was there was no second CP. <laughs> so, yeah, but that was the plan you here. You definitely had a CP here. Yeah, but that um, was the plan. Okay, I want to have to shoot you normally then. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but I do have a melter gun there as well. She's a, a shooter cheating... She, uh, Cheeky melter gun, which will hit on a two now because of take aim. Okay. And then it will win on a three. Not like that. Okay, and then I've got lots of lads. Those dice haven't been exactly amazing this game. Yeah, mm-hmm. It's no. slightly above, sorry, it's slightly under, under, Four, under average. Five, Hot at the six, beginning, then it's short. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. What's this, This is all the last shots. <laughs> hit on twos. I can't reroll once because Strachan's doing, act, doing an action, so ignore that. But sixes explode for Scions as well. Oh, well, that's good. So the idea is you, you hit on twos, you roll in ones, and sixes exploding. So you get loads of hits, and then you reroll wounds looking for sixes. Yeah. So it could do a lot of damage. I think that's the plan there. It's like a Pops Walker thing. Uh, winning on fives. Yeah. Two, three. 
That's four. four. That's AP three though, which comes AP two, and then you're in cover, so it's, it's yeah. three up saves. Yeah. Four three ups. Uh, uh, any of them wounded? Any of them wounded? No, one's on a wound. Damn it! <laughs> Good try. Oh dear. Right, the camera's going to shoot them. <laughs> well, well, if you did it on a guy in cover, it's got to be one of these guys, isn't it? Oh, of course, yeah. So was it would have been four My bad. Right, shoot the camera at you. Try and get kill another bloody Terminator. Ah, last guns. Fours. Yeah. Oh, uh, five. One to up safe. Roll it in the tray. Um, heavy bolt. Uh, Roll it in the tray. Roll it in the tray, you. Roll it in the tray. Another tilt safe. I feel like I should have just let you win this because. You know, Multi laser. Thing. No, because it shows people that they aren't actually that OP. Really on freeze. Hold on. <laughs> you, you made the save. Anyway. Right. <laughs> okay, so. Uh, yeah. Hmm. And they fell back. They can't shoot. He's no. raised the banner. He can't yeah. shoot. Yeah. I've shot all of that mm. and wounded a. Well, killed a Terminator. Three charges. And, any charges? Any charges? Any charges? Do they kill it? Charge. What's that play when you're still doing alive? Did I shoot him with the heavy really? bolters? Yeah, you did. But you oh, did, I didn't kill him, did I? No, he's alive. Oh, you know what it means? Bloody like, green. You know exactly what it means. It's going to be annoying. It's not going to be annoying. It's going to be fine. All right, so that is the end of my turn. But I have got Braze Banner and Assassinate. So I do get 10 more points. You do. So that's fine. And you will only get 10 primaries still. Yeah. Because my vanquisher there counts as five models and is obsec. So that's a thing. So I get ten more secondary, you get ten more primary, which means I'm still in the lead by ten points. By or, ten points. Or something. As we go to Death Guard, turn four. Right, Death Guard turn four. It's getting close, people. Uh, so you've got your two objectives over here again for another ten points. We've seen her both be getting ten and fighting over the middle each turn, which is fun. <laughs> uh, but luckily I'm ahead on primary because you only got five your first turn. Sure. But secondary, you could be catching up. You've got grind them down, kill more in your turn now than I then kill. Tempting target. I'll pick the one over in the corner here. Well, if you them down, do I not get that because you only killed one unit? Didn't no, because it's from your turn now to, your to next my next turn. Time. Okay, and then no prisoners, kill 30 wounds worth of stuff. So, eh, potential for 10 or maybe 15 points there if you're lucky. Yeah. Um, movement, you've shuffled your terminators along, and your plan is to shoot Sans and then charge tracking or something like that. Oh, so right. that gets then gets you onto the objective here. These are going to murder this lot. You've done a bit of move maneuvering over here. Yeah. Um, and then you've got crawlers here doing crawler stuff. things. That's that. Uh, lining up some shots into my tanks, basically. Yeah. Um, I don't know what this one can see, though. I still got, I still got 50 points. What can this one see? Oh, he's going to shoot over there. Oh, the Chimera? Yeah. I was going to say, you can't even can see that. Yeah. Okay, and then you saw your 50 bloody pox walkers over here. <laughs> <laughs> this has just been beautiful. They've been my favourite. Well, they're getting you five points every time. They've just been brilliant. They're just sat there. And, you, and your Terminator's murdered some guardsmen. And they've just, they, they, they the just, they just been having a little party. Yeah, but two, two units of brick have just been stood there doing, like, well, we've done our job. Yeah. Well, share now, really. Yeah. Beer. So anyway, psychic phase. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna do a smite into him. Okay. So, yeah. Good. Oh, we've actually managed to do a psychic power. I'm gonna skip it. Why? Because you want to try and get seven. You're being greedy. No, I'm gonna try and get a six smite. Oh, oh. This is when you peril. <laughs> and perils as perils. I'll, I'll take it because you know what my magic rule is of perils. What do I give him a CP for at the beginning of the game? Oh, the future parents, so now we can kill stuff next to D3. So I'm going to do more anyway, to you for D6 Mortal Wounds D6, plus one. D6, uh, yeah, cause, because the best thing will fall out, yeah. So you do four, four Mortal Wounds, wounds to, to my tank. And then I do two to myself. Yeah, and then you and heal then yourself. Heal. Three. Three. So you're back to, I'm back to a full health. So you'd, how, many, how, how many did you do to me? Four. Four in total. So I'm on nine. Um, and then I'm going to do... Um, I guess I'll do a Curse of the Leper. Into... Into what? I suppose you could do it on them. Yeah. 2, 4, 6, 8, 7, 10 of them. No, no, no. I used to kill them with no prisoners. Well, it doesn't matter how you kill them. Oh, really? Yeah, it doesn't matter. If they die, they die. <laughs> the only ones that... Why are you... You need to cast the power first. Oh, yeah. What are you doing, Andy? There you go. Oh, that's cold. No, no, you okay, failed. No, right, no, no, never mind. Okay, no, never mind. I'm right. Just, you yeah. wally. Right. Oh, <laughs> Get too ahead of yourself. Sorry, sorry, boy. 
Right, so basically that that that's that's my psychic phase. It was good. That was very yeah, happy. it was alright. Yeah, four weeks of a tank. I like it. I like it a lot. And um, I like it I a like lot. I've done like eight rooms off him really this time. That was the maximum I've done my psychics against him. So never mind. Anyway, next up, next up I'm gonna shoot. And I'm gonna shoot my um bolt guns. So my comic bolt is in the, the little terminators inside that room. And then I'm gonna shoot the scions. Yeah. Yeah. It's a beautiful thing. Okay. Eight, ten. 4, 8, 12, 16 shots. 16 shots. And all threes. That wasn't bad. Cool. You're going to win on twos because contagions and humans. Things. Yeah. Not really on ones though, which is a shame. So, good. so I dropped out there. Is that nine? Five, six, eight, nine. Cool. Uh, well, I've got a few in cover. They're in cover. Four? Five? So, uh, three ups, and then three. three ups, okay. and four ups. Five dead. So five dead signs. It's half the unit. Right, we're back. What was next? Uh, the unit terminator is near me. Near me. Well, they are near you. Yeah. Shoot there. those guys. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Bang 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 bang. That's not too bad. Yeah, we're going to twos because humans and contagions. Six. Six. Five ups. So you kill, kill three of them. And it wasn't bad, but they're still going to die at some point. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's, it's going to happen. Let's be honest. Um, right, the rhino's going to do the copy bump into them as well. We'll get max shots in there, I should think. So, uh, What's this? Coming forward, uh, and I haven't got you going to that square over there. Okay. Then is. Three go through. Then three dead. Cool. And then um, five shots in the habit launcher. And then twos. So four, three four, four, dead. four more dead and two uh, three more dead. What was it? Three? three. I mean, they're all going to die anyway. I don't really care. Because <laughs> yeah. you're going to charge them in a second with some turbulence. It's like they're going to die. No, what do you mean you're not? No, next up, I'm going to do the mortar from the tank in the woods into the unit in the ruin. Oh, okay. I'm going to put the slugger to the unit in front of them. And I'm going to do the mortar, uh, sorry, the um, entry cannons into the... Um... Chimera. Oh no, I'll put it into him. He's done to nine. He is? I can put both of them in there, can I? Yeah, I'll so put into, into him over there. Okay. Into the rhino. So what do you want to start with? The, uh, chimera. Yeah. So I start with the entry cannons. Another chimera. No, Hello, oh, Tiger. Oh my god. What's okay. this going into? Into the guys in front of him. The three guys. Okay. You've hit four times. Twos. You're, uh, maybe you're. Three go through. AP one. I think. Oh, they're all dead. Cool, that's the unit gone. Now I get the mortar, D6 shots into the unit inside the room. Okay. Three. Okay. Yep. And then two's rolling ones. Maybe two, so that's it because nothing. Um, and then entry cannons going into the um, spot. Okay. So freeze. Uh, freeze. Go through, maybe uh, four. I don't get saved because I'm not armor content anymore. Four damage. I don't think it's wounded yet, is it? No. No. Seven? Seven. Seven. How many guys left in that squad in the front there? Three. three. Just the three. Right. So, the water going into that squad of three. And then the edge cannons are also really gone going into the tank. I'm about to shot at. Yeah. Edge cannons. Two hits. Very nice, very nice. Yeah. Yeah, it's dead. It blows up. Okay, D3 into your terminators. One. Don't be one of them's dead. I think I've got a wound on one of them. Yeah. Oh, one of them's died. Brilliant. And then you could you can roll D3 into my science. What are you doing? Taking the glass out of the wound. Yeah, that's nice. Take two. Plus, I think they were dead now because they said they what do you mean, plus what? Oh, I haven't shot them yet, have I? You haven't shot them yet? Of course. Right, I'll here quickly. So, mortar. Two shots. Threes. 
twos, hero ones, if you two, you can save. That is actually uh, cool. Free up safe. He's fine because he's in cover. Of course he is, because he's in the room. I've done enough because he'll film me around. I can still get a charge off now, so. Oh, yeah. So that's cool. Right, well, at least I can another one of your terminators. Ha <laughs> ha! Which makes your charge slightly longer in a straggler, actually. It does, it does. But I suppose does. you don't need you can just charge the siren and then just, it'll be within the so, range yeah, of the objective anyway. Charge him, get to there, and get yeah. there. Yeah. So actually, that worked out really well. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Um, mm, yeah. He's got to go no, though he died from the five. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, No. <laughs> okay, so. These four here, terminators, they're going to charge into that. Okay. Can't I'm going to CP. That's a nine. Oh, they're in. They're in. All right, okay, yes. Yeah, so the Blight Lords went into the tank. The Plague Marine just started to charge into the tank as well. And then these guys went into the Scion, and, well, he's, he's dead. He's, yeah, he's, 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 he's dead. Which means you've now nicked the objective, which means you've got the... Is it Tempting Target or whatever tempting it was? Tempting Target. So that's five points. Yes. Not much I can do about that. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And so now you're hitting a tank, basically. So I've killed two uh, two units of infantry. I've killed the yes, vehicle. Yes, yeah, so, so you've got your 30 for no prisoners already. So you've already got that as well. No prison infantry, It's just 30 wounds of stuff. Oh, wow, well, nice, okay. And then you grind them down, you've killed one, two, three, hopefully four. three units, maybe four. I think you'll be getting grind them down as well, to be honest. I hope so. so hey, I'm doing well. I'm okay. I'm going to start on my axe. Start, the, start with the great like cleaver axe, axe, because that's fun. Yeah, it's yeah. fun, isn't it? It's like, okay, fours. Fours with the axe. Oh, he's hit once. Oh. No, uh, you've really got three eggs, contagion. So oh. we'll try again. Into the, oh. in, there's a tray. There's a massive dice tray. Can you not roll the dice into it? AP three. I know, right? Um, <laughs> I'll put a five-cost and roll save on it, but it's five up anyway. It goes through d six. Oh, one, and really you haven't got any no. CP. That's a shame, isn't it? Eight wounds left. Okay, flail of corruption. Okay, jump five. So we need to fives. You're the one. Two at minus two, four ups. Made them. I think, to be honest, for the tanks, if you're watching viewers, always put armor tracks on them. Just getting plus one to your saving against damage one is really nice. Yeah. Things like axes, power swords, you just don't really care nice. then. Drop one on hit. That's nice, yeah. yeah that's good. Uh, axes, so freeze. Strength six, toughness seven. Oh, so five. Five, freeze. So it's a about. massive battle tank, what you want to Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Four wins? Four wins. AP two. Yeah, so fours. So uh, with armoured tracks it would have been freeze, let's see. Ooh. So I lost three wins. But I'm alive. No, I'm bracketed, but bracketed I... and tied tagged up in combat. Well yeah, I mean I can I can shoot the turret at what I want anyway. Yeah. It's, it's just, gonna, just gonna be minus one hit. What I want to do there is basically go, I'm going to try and make you not get grinding and down against me by tagging you and capitating you and yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. I'm just gonna do my consolidation now. You do I'm that. Sorry, okay, we're back. Guard turn five. In the command phase, I've got a CP. I spent it because I've got an area denial objective, and that's a complete waste of time. Uh, but I have got some useful ones. I've got no prisoners, kill 30 wounds of stuff. Unlikely, but possible. Secure no man's land and storm hostile objective. Now. I'm going to talk this through to people because they might not understand what's going on. So, obviously, in my last turn, I made my tanks obsec. But they obsec until my next command phase, which was at the start of my turn. At the start of, which means at the start of my turn, that centre objective was, Des was Death Guard Andes. But then during my command phase, I made them obsec again. And you score your primary points at the end of the command phase. So not only did I get the extra primary points for it, I've now also stormed the hostile objective because it was not mine at the start of my turn. So that's got me an extra five primary and an extra five second to straight away for storming a hostile objective. Because I made them obsec, my other tank was able to move over there to get in range of this objective through the window here. Like so. And therefore I have secured no man's land, which is my other objective, having two objectives in no man's land. So I've got at least two of my secondary objectives already. Getting no prisoners is going to be very unlikely. But if I kill three things, you don't get grind them down. So that's my plan. Okay? Okay. 
Uh, I gave my gatekeeper tank an invulnerable save, and then my tech priest ran up to that tank and put three wounds back on it, because that's lovely, lovely, lovely. Beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. It's a wonderful thing. And I told these guys to move, move, move. And they ran just to chuck more bodies on that middle objective, they run, basically. Run, run, run. They, move, move, they move. ran, ran, ran. They ran, ran, ran. That's the can, can, can. Yes. Oh. So I'm piling bodies and obsec things on the middle objective to try and deny you points. Yes. Yeah. But obviously you will score your primaries at the end of your turn five. That's your big problem, yeah. So, yeah. You can probably max it. But we shall see. Let's move into the shooting phase. This thing, turret gun, can shoot out of combat now because that's a new new rule. So let's shoot a turret straight at the rhino. I'm going to pop smoke for a CP. Are you really? Yep. <laughs> you thought I wasn't going to do it. Okay, fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and then, and then like everything else is going into the plague marine. So it's hitting me on fives. It's hitting me on fives now, yeah. But I'm going to start with some, I'm going to start with some tracer fire into the plague marine though. Yep. Which will hit on. Him, which will hit on fives as well, actually. Yeah. It's all battle tanks and blisters yeah. go four now. Yeah. Which is a bit pants. Oh dear. Um, and then reading on fours. Nope. The last cannon will hit him. Surely. <gasps> and wounds. It's minus three. It's minus two. Five up. Oh, wow. And nice then I've got thing. a vanquish cannon into Mr. Rhino. That's a five as well. Because you pop smoke. <gasps> it's two to wounds. So 14. Minus five AP. I don't get saved. Six plus D3. Oh, wait, my side goes on twice four because I'm with attempt. But you only got three at save. You're straight yeah, through. Yeah, yeah. Six plus D3 damage for seven, which is exactly what I need. And then it would have been D3 mortal wounds on top of that. So you're definitely yeah, dead. So I blew up the rhino, but I failed to kill Mr. Plague Marine. But that is <laughs> ten for my no prisoners so far. Oh, is it actually Okay, cool. Right. Yeah. And you could one for value down. Yeah, but I need to get three to stop you from getting that. I can get another one easy enough. I don't think I can get three. I need that play room to die, because then I could have shot everything from this into play and give it into perils. Him surviving has been your bane the whole time. Yeah, that guy just didn't want to die, does he? Like, that that one play room. He's the under stress nigga of my, of my unit. He's like, I'm good for down like this. The, the funny thing is, right, when you had your unit at 10 up here, yeah. when you had 10 up there, I shot them with that Gatekeeper is, and blew up half the unit in one shot. On go, and the rest of the game, you lit him up. He's like, hey, buddy. <laughs> he doesn't want to die, does he, that guy? Okay, fine. That's fine. Okay. Um, so let's shoot this tank. Should I just put everything into perils just to get rid of that bloody plague caster? Of course you can now because you got rid of a tank. I know, which is why I did that first. Okay. See? Um, I don't think I can kill you terminators. I ignore cover. None of them are wounded though. Three, six, nine, twelve. That's more. Twelve more wounds for no prisoners. It's not going to be enough. I can't get no prisoners now. It's not going to happen. No. Uh, but if I but if I kill them, I mean you're going to max primary regardless, aren't you? That's the yeah. problem. Yeah, yeah. So essentially, what do I want to kill? That's going to annoy you the most in terms of you doing other secondaries. Nothing, because it won't matter. It will matter. Of course, it's going to matter. You think that? Of course, it's going to matter. How many tanks has that Plague Burst Crawler got left there? Eight, seven, eight, seven. Eight, eight wounds. Oh, eight and seven. But they started with 12, so that'd be 22 for no prisoners. And I need to kill eight more wounds worth of stuff. Nah, it's impossible to get no prisoners. It's impossible! Uh, let's blow perils in the face. Shoot everything. <laughs> Let, let's shoot everything from a gatekeeper tank into them. So six plus D3 shots. Nice. So that's nine. That's maths, isn't it? Hit on freeze. Let's tear him a new asshole. <laughs> no, I don't know. I think I can do. Ring on freeze, it's strength nine. Wow. It's all upset. Uh, these are all minus three, and that, my, my tank ignores cover, so five up saves, seven of them. Each one's flat three damage, which comes flat two damage, yeah, he's dead. Boom! Yes, yeah, so if I killed that plague marine, like you see, then you wouldn't get grinding them down. That plague moon has got you many points in this game. <laughs> yeah, it's like one single plague moon just bossed it. Yeah, I think every list is going to have a gatekeeper in it. Yeah. Because it's brilliant. It's great Vanquisher, game. don't even bother. Even it's Death Guard, you know it's a good gun when it, when it takes down Death Guard. Yeah. Minus one damage, AP. Like, you know. When this hits, it's brilliant. <laughs> it just doesn't hit. It just doesn't <laughs> hit half the time. That's what I mean, if you want Vanquishers, you've got to have three of them. Um, no, well, that was literally my turn, really. Oh, I've, I've got Strachan can shoot you, but it's not going to do anything. So that's the end of my turn. <laughs> uh, but I have got 10 secondary points. 
because I've secured No Man's Land. Yeah. I've stormed Hostile Objective. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so well, then we'll I come back grind. in. Uh, you do get grind, so let's work out some points and we'll be back for Death Guard 10 5. Right, here we are, Death Guard Turn 5. Uh, so, yes, yeah, so, so secondaries, you've got Raise the Banner, Bring It Down, No Retreat, No Surrender. So these guys are raising a banner. That's an easy five points. You've maxed your secondaries on 45. Uh, we did actually do the attacks against my tank in combat off camera because I didn't think you'd kill it. And then you, you killed it because <laughs> you got one of your axe hits through and did lots of damage. Um, so you killed the, you killed the, uh, the Lehman Rust Vanquisher there. Um... And then essentially there wasn't any need to do anything. You started running over here with your Terminator's damage and that tank and shooting it. But then we realised there's no point doing it because you've already maxed your primary at the end of your turn. Because obviously Battle of Terminators are obsec. And it doesn't really matter if I've only got three guards from there. You would just shoot them and charge them and all the rest of it. So yeah, but very very quick run through summary of the last turn for the Death Guard there. But you managed to get 45 on your secondary and 40 for your primary. Because you maxed it on your last turn. And I got 40 from a primary as well. But only 40 on my secondary. To be my five points, which means it's ninety-five to ninety, including painting. It was a good game. It was very. Okay, we fought that out like heroes. It cost you your entire army. It well, it always does with guard. You never got anything left with guard at the end. I but was it, mm. very underwhelmed with what was killed on your part, but that wasn't because they left a CP out, a strategy out the guard book. You know what it's called. Underwhelming firepower. Underwhelming firepower. They left it out. Because <laughs> it's, it's yeah. still underwhelming. It um, un it's interesting, though. Like, Gatekeeper was brilliant. Vanquisher looks amazing on paper, but it's utter dog shit. <laughs> <laughs> it, it just is. The fact that it's one shot and you're hitting on freeze, and that's with your plus one. As soon as you stomp people's put a bit of minuses to hit on it, like Miasma or Dense Cover, or you can you can end up hitting on, or shooting into combat out of it, you hit, then hitting on fives of it. And it's not worth it for something that's got one like, shot. I feel like Games Workshop should be selling every codex with some lipsticks. Cause I think, <laughs> some lipsticks? <laughs> yeah, yeah, some lipsticks. Because I think people should <clears throat> try to look a little bit pretty before they get fucked. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, that's basically what Games Workshop are doing here. You know? oh I mean, it's, it's different. The tanks are a lot more mobile now, which is nice. Making them obsec is nice. I like the fact that orders have changed and they're in the command phase and they've got lots of different orders now. Bulgrins are still a bit... Nah. Yeah, they went down far too quickly. They're, they're more resilient because of the minus one damage, but they still can't really hit that hard, no. being only minus one AP and only two damage. They should have been up AP too. Against Death Guard, yeah, they're useless in combat against them. Against normal Marines, they'd be okay because of damage two, but it's, it's still only minus one AP. Oh, damage two? Yeah. Oh, because AP... Oh, sorry, damage it's damage one, one against you because you're Death Guard. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that is always the thing... But even AP one's not that great, is it? No, but if you're up against Ultramarine, then you can't justify saying to someone, I've just bought a brand new codex for a brand new army that's just come out. It, it, can, it, it can beat so Space be, Marines. It would be great. Yeah, well, Everything can beat Space Marines. Marines. So you, yeah. have to, you have to base it on every Yeah, I mean, and... Death Guard are solid mid-table army at the moment, so it, it was a good test. And you're not um, just fighting any random Death Guard team. You're fighting the rank six in the UK, mate. Oh, God. <laughs> um, so it, it, it's interesting because, you know, I, I played the old Guard Codex a lot and I got very good at it and very good at killing Death Guard with it. <laughs> um... Whereas this game, I haven't actually killed that much. No, I don't think you've ever killed. I've a killed a couple of Terminators, a bunch of Plague Marines, a mm -hmm. tank, a drone, and a Rhino, and your characters, and that's it. You killed two characters, nine Plague Marines, a blow drone, a tank, and a Rhino, and a couple of Terminators. Two Terminators. That's it. That is two it. Terminators? Two Terminators. I mean, it really wasn't a big. Death and you've fight. killed the entire army. I mean, you would have you would have fin you would have finished him off in combat. Probably. You would have shot and charged them. All I'd have left at the end of the game was a tech priest and my command squad, yeah. and Strachan hiding in a ruin. You didn't have a lot left. No. I mean, I put lots of line of sight block and train here for a reason because like because otherwise it would have been a shooting fest. I dare say turn one. Uh, if I'd have taken turn one with three play bursts on the field and the bloat drone, I dare say. Yeah, this could have been it might have been different. Yeah. Which, which actually is quite a sad, sad day for a brand new codex that's just been released. Today. Yeah, I mean, no the fact that it was a very even game means it was a good codex. Points, in my opinion. points. It doesn't matter what you finish with on the board. In terms of points, it was very, very close. If you can score ninety-five points on ninety points in a tournament, and every if, in every game you're going to go to, you're probably going to win. Not only that, you're going to score high, and you're going to score really well on ITC, and that's that's a really, really good thing to think yeah. about. The fact that it costs you your whole army to do it. Not I mean, that's fine. If it costs you an entire army to win a game, that's fine. Um, 
the fact that it was close means it's a good codex because what you don't want is a codex coming out and it being either rubbish or ridiculously good. You want it to be on par with everything else. So that's fine, but it's very different. It's very different. I've got to figure out what the new way of running guard is because the, running it like I did with the old guard isn't the way. It has some tricks though. I like the way you can make your vehicles obsec. Making up, making Bulgrin's obsec and making tanks obsec was good. That, that was helpful. That, that was fun. Very, very like fast it. tanks was useful. Very fast infantry. Very swift. fast infantry. Swift as the wind is. I like swift as the wind. Sion, I didn't do it. Scions with mortal wound output like boxwalkers. Very good. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. Um, the ability to get across the board. minus one damage on the tanks is good, but it is two good. CP every time. Chucking five plus invul on one. Handy. Yeah, tech, uh, uh, tech priest, take a tech priest, everyone. Yeah, Chuck in a five up invul on your best tank, yeah. Mr. Gatekeeper. Do that every turn. <laughs> yeah. And make him make him ignore cover, that's massive as well. Because then you're always going to be minus three, which which is very useful. But yeah, no, it's, it's interesting. I don't know if. Because everyone's been shouting about tanks being the new thing, that they're quicker and you don't need to move them slow to get the shots off and all the rest of it, and all the damage has gone up. I still don't think tanks are actually the best way of doing it. I don't know. Food for thought. But anyway, good game, Death Guard Andy. Thanks, a win. Sir. 95 points to 90. A very good close game. Not bad for the first run out with the guard. No. With, a, with a new, the new guard against the Death Guard. And have fun. And um, well. stay tuned for my next ideas and thoughts, people, for the next Battle Report with the Guard, where I'll probably have a completely different list <laughs> to see what else is good and what isn't. I mean, Bane Blades look ridiculous now. Can you put right? them in your list that way? Oh, yes. Yeah, They're Toughness good. 9, with right. 30 good. wounds, good. 30 right. wounds, yeah. and a 2-up save. I mean, you could probably take out three of my coolers before I take out one of Bane Blades. I don't know. But that's the thing with us. We don't have the firepower. The thing is with Bane Blades, though, you can't obscure them. No, we can hide. And you can't. can still one-shot it with a Mortarian. And a couple of Vanquisher cannons can still if, take it out in one if, go. If Mortarian doesn't get... Um, Blown off the table. Well, no. If you, if you can get... Let's say you know, they start 10, you know, 10, 10 inches away from each other and he gets charged in the first turn, no Overwatch, yeah, it'd be over. If you're going to get that Overwatch, it's like anything... I've, I've been overwatched before by, by, by you in a, in a fight, and it did. Yes, but that was when I had Vengeance of Acadia, and I was able to overwatch from fives. Can't do any of that anymore. Your Vengeance of Acadia is a big problem. That, that needed to stay in the codex. I mean, I've always said Vengeance of Acadia is broken, and I'm glad they've taken it out. It's the only thing that made them good against Chaos. <laughs> it was, it made them really good. And it's what gave you the advantage against 50% of the people you come up against in tournaments. You took it to um, a tournament before, and there were three or four guard players. You won best in faction. I think. Yeah, I almost went four on one with the old codex. And that was yeah. before armor of contempt and all the all the bus that guard got. You played it beautifully. So to come from that yeah. to this army, it just feels like yeah. Down the most, but it's different. It's just a new list it gives, gives me food for thought because because that's my dead pile, and, and that's yours. Yeah. Um, uh, Sentinels absolutely love them. Brilliant. I think forty five points. They're amazing. Best, yeah, but best unit in the codex. So Forty-five you know, points. Best unit in the codex. Mostly the same to you uh, because they're different army, uh, a different order. Presumably, you could take armor sentinels and sentinels together and take three of each. Yeah, I could have three. What well, they can come in units of three, so I can have three units of three scout sentinels and three units of armor. I sentinels. mean, it's almost I've said. Just go through a sentinel list and just run. Sh- I reckon that will do really well because they've got all the keywords. Well, they've got core, so you got, can give them rerolls. They've got yeah. platoons, so you can give them infantry orders or 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 tank orders. That will have a couple of uh, two or three battle tanks at the back with with the more you just run around with sentinels. Just run around with sentinels with like lance yeah. cannons. Yeah, or make two detachments and do it twice. Or, 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 something, or something ridiculous. It's like a miniature night game, wouldn't it? It is like mini knights for sentinels. Like mini knights, they'd be like mini Titanicus. It'd be brilliant. It'd be absolutely fantastic. I'm playing Titanicus, but in 40k, they're not. They're not. They're not knights. They're not. Not. Um, <laughs> not Titans. They're sentinels. You ever get up to a guy that go to a table where he's got his knights sat there? He's like, "This is my knights," and then the guy comes up with his war dogs. And goes, These are my war dogs, and you're like, "I've got 18 sentinels." That's better than both of us. I'm like, "Yes, it is." Oh dear, dear, dear. I think the sentinels are brilliant. Um, so, so yeah, it's, it's interesting. The thing is, Chimeras have gone up in points now. Chimera is 85 points now. Almost as expensive as a rhino. Well, it is, oh, it's, it's the same as a rhino with a habit launcher. With a habit launcher, yeah. 
then you do it's got an extra wound, so, I can yeah. put 12 guys in instead of 10, but they're only guardsmen. Yeah, and you get 11 wounds. So you get the extra yeah, that's, that's true. But no armor of contempt, and they hit on balls, and yeah, I don't know. So hang on, the question is... Hang on. The question is what? what is the so, question? Heretic Dave, what's your view on the new 40k codex for the, uh, for the right. 9th edition National Minute Time? It's very different. <laughs> <laughs> is there anything that you would change? Um, Vengeance Arcadia! <laughs> I don't know. Have tank commanders actually help them freeze with everything rather than just your turret weapon? Yeah. That's massive. I, I know they're, ch they're only 10 points more than a normal tank now. But, yeah, I don't know. Hmm. I. Jim Borgwin's an extra AP would have been nice and they're more. AP1's I, a bit rubbish. I'd like to see the tanks be tanky. I'm not saying they weren't powerful enough because they were powerful. Yeah, when I, they were I, good, I, they I were good. Them, I can give them armor tracks and then they get plus one to their save against damage ones. So no, no, no. I mean, I mean like, I, I finished a game with two tanks on the table. Yeah. You've never, ever, ever left me with a tank on the table before. Ever. Right, so be In like three years of playing Death Guard, you've never left me a tank on the table. I've got two thirds of my army still on the table. Including that. I just, yeah. I, no. I want to see your no, tanks. I think I'll argue with you. So you've got three quarters of your army left on the table. Oh, you still got 50 pox walkers on the back of the table. I, I started with 15 Terminators, <laughs> I got 13. I had 50 pox walkers, I had 50. I started with 10, 10 Marines, I lost 9. I lost a tank, a drone, two characters, because I just sent them up the field to die. I didn't really care at that point. I, yeah, it was a very like I say CP for underwhelming firepower. My advice power. to people: don't put sponsons on your tank. Complete waste of points. Yes. Complete waste, especially multi melters at fifteen points of multi melter. It's thirty points before melt shots hit on fours. It's not worth it. Your it's tanks are very very well it. made. Well made. Yeah, very beautifully painted. That's a, that's a straw. Yeah. Don't tell anyone. Yeah, well, they'll <laughs> they will never know. Anyway, right, thanks for watching everyone, and we'll see you in the next one. <laughs>